Hey, Rob Bot. Rob Bot. We in the building. We back again. Hey, Rob Bot. We live. Right, who about God? Oh yeah, man. I, I wrote out. I wrote down a couple questions because I, I got to. Uh, we got. I got. Got to collect because a lot of people. A lot of people lost. So I'm gonna take. We're gonna take them back to the beginning. I want. I wanted you to come in and break down the Inky and Inlil connection and how Inlil is 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 out to steal our land and he he was in the connection between Yaku drafting the uh, frugal lords. Uh, you know the. Uh, you know the the, the Nautics or whatever, however they whatever they want to call themselves, and the tie in with Inky and Enlil. Okay, so um, Enlil, they not they not from Earth first and foremost. This is what we gotta understand. Okay. Enlil don't have his children are nomads on Earth because before he came, the Anunnaki had already divided Earth up into three regions. The land of Enki, we call it the motherland, Africa. It wasn't called Africa 500 years ago. It was called the Greater Sudan. Over here, we called it the Afar Inca. And they referred, and we referred to ourselves as Amur Inca, right? So Enlil's children, he Yahweh in the Bible. Okay. So he's promising his children that he going to give them a homeland. That's his promise. The only way he can give them a homeland is he got to overthrow either Enki, or Isis, or Tehuti. Them the three regions of the earth. Right? So uh -huh. when you look at the movement, so... When we look at the movement in ancient times, you can actually see the fingerprints of Anunnaki warfare. Most of us don't study warfare. Therefore, we have no way to understand how they weaponize everything we do against us. Okay. Right? So his job and his son, Marduk, who was his first general he picked, and then his scientist son, uh, Nenor Sin, Right, these mm -hmm. was the ones that he picked a scientist and a soldier to usurp one of these clans so they can have some land on earth. They lost, okay. right? They should have never fucked with Tahuti, and they probably could have been able to get by on Inky or Isis, but they can't get past Tahuti, okay. right? So, right. in the in the uh exile of the Spanish Inquisition, right? So in the Spanish Inquisition, they kicked out of Europe, out of ISIS land, some people that we call Moors today. We call them dirty Moors over here. Mm -hmm. The good Moors is the ones of us who has to fight them and take their fezes like you did, mm -hmm. right? Now, mm -hmm. The Moors shouldn't be offended. They should celebrate Noble Drew Ali effort, even though the Moorish Science Temple was infiltrated. Right? So mm -hmm. this is what made Elijah Muhammad form the Nation of Islam. And if you know, Noble Drew Ali had a Mufti staff. Mm -hmm. So his Mufti staff was the infiltrators. They was in his Mufti staff. Them the ones who went to his house, drug him out, and gave him over to what they call Rome. They look like us. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, while they got Noble Drew Ali locked up, beating the shit out of him, trying to make him give us the word, Drew, give us the word. They talking about the Masonic password. He don't know mm -hmm. it like that. Mm -hmm. So he can't give it to him if he want to, but he wasn't going to never give, give it to him no matter how bad they beat him. Mm -hmm. So he ended up suffering from complications of the beating, and then they gave him a, a, a melanated sister that poisoned him. Then she blamed it on his pale skinned wife. Mm -hmm. you know, so, so now, 
Noble Drew Ali took out the picture in 1929. He passed it off to Elijah Muhammad, but he sent another Moorish grand sheik to feign the continuation of the Moorish Science Temple. That's mm -hmm. to give Elijah Muhammad at least a three-year head start to set his shit up. Mm -hmm. wow, right? 1933, yeah. Nation of Islam come full throttle. Elijah's studied up now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, in 1926, they exile Marcus Mosiah Garvey, right? Mm -hmm. But he left, he left significant work for us to do study. Mm -hmm. Up, you mighty people, do what you will. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look up Pan-Africanism, it traces back to Noble Joy, I mean, not Noble Joy, it traces back to W.E.B. Du Bois, mm -hmm. and it traces back to Marcus Garvey. Both of them, they call him the father of Pan-Africanism. Mm -hmm. But if you go back further, Pan-Africanism, look for a guy named James Delaney. Hmm. Right? Okay. Because, yeah, we this down, James Delaney. Right. So he the one starting the uh, Back to Africa movement in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. The Liberia movement. He looked like us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, it's not the same Pan-African movement. But if you're not a student of Garvey, you won't never know that it was a motive behind Garvey telling us to form a confraternity and to form a pan-African connection because the Africans got to tell us they ain't bring y'all from over here. Y'all was already there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you go back to 2017, 2018, the president of Ghana and the chiefs offered a qualified apology for the slave trade. It's hmm. a problem with that. Most people yeah. don't know what a qualified apology is. Mm -hmm. A qualified apology is this. The qualifications in which we need to apologize need to be put on the record. And we will be, you know, willing to support you in anything you do if we found to be guilty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So when I tried to qualify the apology, I found out that we ain't come from over there. We was already here. Yeah, okay. We go for the get them. Go ahead. Right? So yeah. all of the African scholars that I spoke to from Nigeria, the Sudan, from Ethiopia, from South Africa, I've personally spoke with people from all of these uh, countries, right? Mm -hmm. They all tell me the same thing. Man, you know a whole lot about Africa in the Pan-African movement, but y'all not from over here. How do you know this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So now I'm like, what the fuck you mean we ain't from over there? Go back and do your research. You'll find out you was already there. Mm -hmm. right? That's right? So when the Moors got kicked out of Spain, right? That was a stronghold. 1992, right? It started long before that. It was an ongoing so With 1478 war. with the Spanish Inquisition? Like yeah. the 1478? Okay, all right. They didn't finally get kicked out until 1611. Okay. okay. But when everything started, they sent Columbus out as an investigator. Uh-huh. How long, right? damn, ain't it, the ain't it the same year that the King James Version uh, Bible was put together? Like the 1611? Uh, what is it? Uh, yep. Damn, go ahead, go ahead. I, I, I'm putting it all together now, in my head. Not, like, yeah, oh. it's easy to piece together when you know all the parts. Yeah. Okay, so now, when they came over here, Chief Pontiac said they gave us a Bible and asked us to pray with them. We took the Bible, prayed with them, bowed our heads, we raised our head. We had the Bible, they had the land. They, uh, this ahead. all on the record. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, <clears throat> they said that our elders had such cognitive dissonance because they had never seen a ship before that they didn't see the ships that came um, from Africa. Mm. It's only one problem with that. We've been trading with West Africa for hundreds of thousands of years. Yeah, we've been Musa, all that, yeah. Yeah, even before him. Yeah, yeah. Right? We also, on the West Coast of the United States, was trading with Japan and China. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for thousands of years. Yeah, with Hoshin, all them, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, how in the fuck we don't know what a boat looked like? A ship. 
Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, we forgot what a ship looked like to have cognitive. This that's because it didn't exist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The slave ship that we see, the popular sardine can slave ship, mm-hmm. you it's a direct overlay for Notre Dame University mm. because it was an academic hatch plot. Mm. That's why that ship on May the fifth. 2018 bombed that bombed they set it on fire they burnt that bitch down mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. that because i found it i'm hot remember plus yeah. it's hot and cold you yeah. get warm you're getting warm yeah. nigga yeah. you on fire yeah yeah right? so they burned it that that's that was our cue that's exactly what it is uh-huh so when i um when i review it when i'm reviewing the records i'm like shit this shit's not true it's just not true. Mm-hmm. Now here go to irony. Last night somebody sent me a a a, 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 a video of a Baba, uh-huh. and um, Baba was saying all this shit. I'm saying, yeah, yeah. I found He's that flag. This- I, I think I found that flag video too uh, in the uh, live from the Tampa Ho- uh, Hotel. He talked about it when he break down this flag right here. It says a feminine flag, and the flag with the six pointed star and the crescent. Was the original flag before this flag before the fourth two ninety two? Yes, I'm. A, I'm gonna make that clip tomorrow and post it uh, uh, tomorrow. Yeah, okay. but but he also got one that's describing our flag, what we call the Nuwabi flag. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That, he talking about right. that on that on that uh, tape. Yeah, yeah. So that's the one that, that that he wanted you to post. Yeah, I'm gonna post it tomorrow. <clears throat> okay, now the next thing is. When they got kicked out of Europe, where did they go first? Hey, like, uh, was it Australia? No. They went okay, to a right. place called Al Maghrib. Okay. Go ahead. Al Maghrib is Northwest Africa. Today yep. it's known as Libya, Tunis, Morocco, and I think it's like two more countries. Yeah, the western, the western, uh, north and west part. North, but, uh, northwest Mandingo Africa. Land. Mandingo Land. Look, mm-hmm. Northwest Africa. Mm-hmm. That's where they sent them. Mm-hmm. Now, when they tell us the story, um, when they infiltrate the Moors, they tell us this is Northwest Africa and they got a claim to the land over here. Mm-hmm. Right? They saying that the Moroccan Empire is ancient. Mm-hmm. Morocco mm-hmm. was established in the 50s. Mm-hmm. That's not ancient to me. No. Nah. Right? So before yeah. it was Morocco, it was a province of Al Maghrib. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, if you can follow the narrative, you can uncover the deception. Mm-hmm. Right now, what mm-hmm. happened is that when they get over here, war ensues. Now, remember, Cortez, Spanish conquistador, mm-hmm. invasion. What mm-hmm. was they say they was looking for? Oh, uh, look, I, I, I can't remember what they were looking for, but I know when they got over here, they got a whole bunch of gold. They was looking for Cordoba. Okay, go ahead. Oh, uh, the Cordoba. underground city. The underground city. The yes, underground city. Cord- okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Cordoba is called the city of gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's now, right. Right. So remember, in, in they the national, us- that's in the National Treasure. Uh, that's in the National Treasure movie. Mm-hmm. With Nicholas Cage. Right now. Yeah. This is when they unleashed the hordes of conquistadors, Black and Moors, and Tony Moors on our land. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? We don't like to talk about the Black conquistadors because now we mm-hmm. have to deal with the tutors of Europe, the royal family. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So um, once we deal with them, we know exactly who we're dealing with. Exiles from Europe. Well, where how did they get to Europe and when did they go to Europe? Go ahead. When they went to Europe, they was called Etruscans. Mm. Right? Mm. Um, and they wasn't called more. This was mm. like in BC period to early AD. They didn't get a stronghold to Rome rose to power under Constantine. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And then they had the Nicene Council to establish the church. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. now, mm-hmm. for 700 years, they ruled Europe, specifically mm-hmm. Spain. Mm-hmm. Right? I so, got a book on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So now they call it the golden age of the Moors, but they're not telling you is Egypt had already settled Europe, established Greeks, um, the Arisha land, what we call Ireland today, it used to mm-hmm. be called the Arisha land. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got that. I got a book on that too. Mm-hmm. Right. So now these Moors is taking the credit for what the Egyptians did. The Etruscans are taking the credit for it, saying mm-hmm. that they civilized Europe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the it doesn't remove the imprint that the Egyptians had. But how do they undermine us? Hey, that's true. Hey, what you're saying is in this book right here, the Black Celts. Because that how, how uh, Nefertiti's and all them got exiled out of Egypt and they went to that land. This right here in that book. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now the war that's taking place in in Europe got Egyptian priests and European natives fighting against um, the Etruscans and they loyalists. Mm. And mm. this is why you got Moors that range from Black Moor to Tawny Moor. Mm-hmm. Mulattoes. Right. In the middle, you got one that they don't talk about called the Swarthy Moor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? I read about the that Swarthy, today. I read I ran across it today when I, in my the, research. The Swarthy ahead. Moors is the ones that they call olive tone. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. They lighter than mm-hmm. me, but they not light skinned enough to be classified as a tawny moor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Over here, they gave us different terms to classify people along the same lines. These terms being mulatto, quadroon, and octroon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I read this right? today. Mm-hmm. Right. So now, they want us to believe that the people that they put up to take the fall, the coat Severs, the fall guy, mm-hmm. they want us to believe that these motherfuckers crawled out the cave and just whooped our ass. Yeah, yeah. That's not going <laughs> to never happen. No mortals are not going to ever defeat the gods. Yeah. So you need to reevaluate the story because it got to be gods helping mortals to fend off gods. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then we go back. Who were the fucking gods? The yeah, right? Egyptians and the Sumerians. That's right. That's right. And, right? So yeah. the Egyptian story, you have to study Akhenaten and you will know about the priest wars between the Amin priest or the Amun priest and the Aten priest. Mm-hmm. The Amun priest was the ones that say, we can't never let people see who we are lest they rebel against us. Hidden, yeah, okay. I so they you. always hide behind somebody else that they use as a cat's paw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Now, mm-hmm. the Aten priest be like, fuck what you talking about. They're not going to rebel against us because we know how to treat people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the 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 kinds of wars began that far back. So and this, this, got- this right here go back. This go back to Enlil's side trying to overthrow us, overthrow Inky's side, right? Yep. Okay, yep. All, right, all right, go ahead, go ahead. Now, Inky requested to Hootie to set up Egypt. Mm-hmm. Right? When he talk mm-hmm. about his father in um in the Emerald Tower, who he talking about? Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Okay, I, I'm with you. Okay, so he his father gave asked him to because he needed to block that barrier. If you look at uh, Samaria, where the Anunnaki was landing at, where they had their launch pads at, mm-hmm. and you look at the military strategic purpose of Egypt, Egypt was no more than Hollywood to us. Yeah. Okay. But okay. it was it was what you call the gate. Mm-hmm. It was the gate to the motherland. Mm-hmm. Right? So mm-hmm. he needed us to block the gate. They not going to never get past us. Mm-hmm. Right? Unless um, something happened where we no longer functional. Mm. Kingu. Spell mm-hmm. of sleep. Sleep. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Right? I see, I, so yeah, with your spell of sleep, everybody got to have amnesia. The good ones and the bad ones. Mm-hmm. So that the, the levels, the playing field in the conjure war. Mm. You don't know who you is. I don't know who I am. Let's try to figure it out by reading the morals and the dogma. Mm-hmm. The ones who follow the dogma and get stuck, they on their own. 
because the righteous ones is going to be seeking the moral compass mm -hmm. in all mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Where's the balance in this? Mm -hmm. Right? So now they go from the Maghrib, they start launching out from the motherland to come over in the Western world to seize the city of gold, Cordoba. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Now they telling mm -hmm. us they bringing slaves, but we wasn't the slaves. Yeah. The slaves was what they call five dollar Indians. Mm -hmm. Those yeah, old Indians was mm -hmm. created to usurp the people of the land. And if we don't figure out who we is at the close of the age, guess where we at? The close of the age. Man. Right? In mm -hmm. Lil Win. Mm -hmm. If we figure it out to so Hootie, Inky, and Inana win or Isis, mm -hmm. they win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Because this is how they settle conflicts on Nibiru with the royal mm -hmm. families of Nibiru. Whenever they colonize somewhere, you can you only only two ways you can um, take power. That's through hand to hand combat or through a conjure war. Mm -hmm. So they Man, institute, they institute the conjure war. Mm -hmm. All right, now Noble Ali went in to the more Zionist temple. Of Islam that was in New in New Jersey, mm -hmm. and this is where he found out because they told him they mm -hmm. use pale faces to block institutions. Who are they? The yeah, Jewish right. Defense League and the ADL, mm -hmm. the Anti Defamation League. They always putting what they call Ashkenazi, Nazi, Sephardi, and Kazarian Jews in leadership positions. Mm -hmm. But they all taking orders for somebody to look like me and you. Hey, that's I read it today. I read it today, man. That's why I was telling you I read it today. Where I, this is book called the uh, Jews and uh, some in, in the British, uh, Brit Jews and British in American uh, Native American colonies. And they were saying that these some of these Jews, you might think they was like the people they saying now, but they really look like us. These people that were coming to steal and they and they infiltrate our tribes. And then move they work their way up to the top and then start auctioning and selling off our land over here in America. It's, it's yeah. only one thing. They don't work their way to the top. They murder the chief. Yeah, yeah. That's what it said. It said that. It said that. Go ahead. They murdered the chiefs and the high priests and the priestesses that could tell mm -hmm. the story. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they bust, the, they bust the whole family up. And then on our tribal res uh, our tribal community, they bring their people in. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they say, we the Hopi, we the Choctaw, we the Cherokee. Them motherfuckers ain't none of that shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? But now this is what you call assuming the position of power. Right? Mm -hmm. So they established this corporate jurisdiction by undermining the original constitution. Most people didn't know we was operating under two constitutions. Mm-hmm. As long as you don't know you operating under two constitutions, one is a corporate jurisdiction, right? And mm -hmm. one is what we call a um, 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 de jure jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You thinking you following the same constitution when you calling yourself a citizen, you actually calling yourself a slave. Yeah, right. That's right. Let's go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, so um from that point, you know, you know, this is how they how they got their stronghold over here. Hey, hey, take this. over for take over for a minute. I go got ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, go ahead. Hey, go ahead. Hey, yeah, because uh I'm, I'm just make a couple of announcements and then uh I'm gonna go I'm out saying. and come back in. I'm gonna be listening. Okay, okay, okay go, go ahead, go ahead, in. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. All right. Hey, uh, if you want to send a, a donation, we don't ask for money, and we're doing this uh, just for out of love. But if you want to show us some love, uh, I got the brother Rob Haynes cash app in the link. Uh, and I got my cash app in the link. So if you want to show us some love, man, go right ahead, man, and, and uh, send us a donation, man. Uh, yeah, but a lot of a lot of this stuff deep. I, I wrote down a couple. I've been doing research all day on what the brother Rob Haynes been saying, and uh, I, I got a couple of uh, papers that I'm gonna read out too to y'all on some of the stuff that he's talking about because this shit is bigger than what we think. It's bigger than what we think, man. This this is a whole nother level of the galactical wars 
that that played out down here to the on the third dimension, right? Hey, Hakeem, get out of there. Get out of there, Hakeem. Hold on, let me get this dude. This dude right here. Get out of there, boy. I can't believe you put all my books down. Yeah, so a lot of this stuff that, that we're talking about, it might seem like it's heavy, but it's really like to who do you say, like everybody got their own perspective. Like you might say, oh, oh, the brother is good. You may say that, but if, if, if all of us is looking at a cup and I'm looking at it from this angle and I'm telling him what I see, and then the brother Rob is on this side saying what he see, and then the brother Dave Calloway is on this side saying what he see, we all giving our perspective so we can make it one big collective perspective. So uh, the brother Rob Haynes, I, I like his perspective on what, the way he looking at this thing and the way he calling. And it's really, and I'm what I'm doing is I'm taking what I already got, what, what my master teacher gave me, and the holy tablets and other information that we putting this together because I've been reading this. Uh, I've been reading today. I've been reading the Let's Set the Record Straight book. I've been reading the Let's Set the Record Straight book, right? And it's a lot of things in here. Like, let me let me for the brother Rob Haynes come back on. Let me uh, let me say this because he probably got a phone call. But let me talk about this. Bob got questions in here, questions and answers, right? And uh, Ben York, right? And this is a picture of uh, Ben York right here, right? And this is a picture of old man York. Now, in my opinion, uh, in my opinion, and based on my research, I found out that Abu Bakr, because Abu Bakr was uh, Abu Bakr was the brother of Mansa Musa, who sailed over here, right, into America. Let me show you a picture of Abu Bakr. I might can pull. Matter of fact, let me pull it up on. Uh, let me share my screen real quick. Let me share my screen uh, real quick. So I want to show you some pictures. Okay. Let me go to this. Uh, this right here. Uh, where is it? At? Where is it? At? It's this folder right. Uh, right here. This folder right here. I want to share a couple of pictures uh, to tie into what the brother Rob talking about, right? All right, this is a picture of Ben, uh, ben York. And keep in mind, Ben York is a Melodian Moor from, uh, from West Africa. The Melodian Moors, right? This Ben York and this Baba right here in this Native American tire, Chief Black Eagle, Thunderbird, because all that shit for the tying together. And you really going to know uh, where Baba was heading with, with, with the... Uh, he was headed towards this way with claiming the land and getting us back in our rightful position. And that's the real reason why they came after him. Right? Hold up. Let me skip this picture right here. Okay. This right here is, uh, this was Ben York's wife. I got a actually, like, uh, I think a real picture of her. And look, and look at this picture. These right here are the, uh, the Shoshone, Native American Indians, the Shoshone. The real one is on my right side, right? You see his hair? Now, don't they look like the don't they look like the fuzzy wuzzies? Don't they look like don't they don't he look like a fuzzy wuzzy? Don't he look like a fuzzy wuzzy? I'm gonna show you pictures of the fuzzy wuzzy. All right, look at keep him keep this dude because you Baba said the the hair is a dead giveaway. The hairstyles is a dead giveaway, right? The hairstyles. So let me show you something here. here. Let me show you uh, the fuzzy wuzzies. All right, these are the fuzzy wuzzies. And I saw I saw a video Dave Calloway did. Look at the, like you can you can tell they has a little bit more uh you know curly, but it, there's still a connection between these beans. I believe that these beans was all came over here, right? Now as slaves, they was already they was over here already coming over here on the barren straight, like uh Bible said. I believe these particular beans marks over here. And then this in this uh let's set the record straight, Bible connect these people with the Williams, the Washingtons, and uh uh the Millers, right? And I, I told you the Williams go all the way back to uh, the Afar people, as in King George III was a Williams, right? And Ben York was connected with these people too. And keep in mind, Baba said, he said that Washington, uh, Washington, uh, Washington, Washington is not, uh, it don't come from Washington. Actually, Washington come from Washington. He broke it down in his book, right? What he says, uh, let me show you, let me read that to you. About the name Washington, because people say, oh man, you're you, you, talking about, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. 
Baba talk about it in his book right here. He says, uh, let's see. Uh, go back, go back, go back. Hold on, let me see what page is on. Let me try and uh, quote some of this stuff before uh, the brother Rob Haynes get back on. Okay, let me show you. It's uh, where he says uh, it's question and answer. I'm gonna actually go through this whole go through this book with the question. It says, "Where did the name Wichita come from?" It's on page three sixteen. I mean, yeah, Wichita, right? Three sixteen. Let me go there. All this is connected, man. It's let's have the record straight book. It's one of the books they they why they came about the Bible, man. I tell you. All right. It says right here. It said, and, and see, Baba at the time, you got to keep in mind, when Baba was doing all this research, he didn't have the internet. He had to go actually do groundwork and get these books and actually start. He, he, he did some footwork, too, where he went to these certain areas. But he had to, he didn't have the internet like we got now. So we able to come, come up, get more connections to what Baba was saying. That's why he said, don't believe me. Go check it out. Because once you go check it out, you're going to start to learn it yourself to where you can teach it. Look what he says. He says, did he said, why does everyone say Wichita and Washington are the same? He said, this is because phonetically they sound the same. The, the English word Washington is where what gave birth to the name the, the Washita River, right? The Washita River, stay in mind, which is in, in Texas, all the way to Oklahoma, right? Which is a river, not a people, which is a river. Hey, buddy, stop which is a river, not a people, right? He says, well, I, let me get my other glasses real quick because I, I can't read with these glasses on. Let me get my other my, my seeing, my seeing glasses. Uh, here we go, right here. All right, look what he say. Go back, go back, 316. Hey, Rob, bye to everybody in the building, man. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button. Right? And if you want to send us a don't, hey, we're going to, I'm going to shout everybody out when we, uh, I'm going to, if you send me a cash app, I'm going to shout you out, man, at the end of the show. So thank you, everybody that's uh, sending the uh, donations, man. And I got the brother Rob Haynes. Uh, oh, okay, brother Rob Haynes back. We'll come back. I'll come back on that part, right? Later. If you want to send us a note, hey, we're gonna I'm gonna shout everybody out when we uh I'm gonna, hey, it's got an echo, brother. Hey, brother Raw, it's got a probably got an echo in the background. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Oh, I was going over a little stuff with him, but we can go, we can get back on to what we was talking about. No, keep, since you keep, back. Going, you, keep doing, okay, you keep keep doing, doing what you're doing. Okay, all right, let me just say this then. Okay, I was talking about it says, why does everyone say Wichita? This right here in the Let's Set the Record Straight book by Malachi's New York, right? Yeah. And it says, uh, why? And, and it's, it's all, every day, it's a lot of stuff you be talking about that's in this book. So, I'm, uh, so I took notes, right? But it says, uh, why does everyone say Wichita and Washington uh, sound the same? This is because phonetically, they sound the same. And the English word Washington gave, was what gave birth to the name Wichita River, the Richard Wichita River, which is a river, not a people. The people became Washita who lived near that river. Thus, when you hear the word Washington, you you think uh, Washita River, which is a location in Oklahoma. Now look what he say. He says the name Washington come from the English word Washington, literally Washita, uh, Washatown. Now look, I looked it up. I looked it up. Now look at this shit. This going to blow your mind. And these right here the fuzzy wuzzies. And I was saying there's a connection between the fuzzy wuzzies and the Shoshone because this picture right here, right? This picture right here, uh, let me show you. I got a book coming tomorrow. It's going to be here tomorrow on this, though. Uh, but I want to show you this picture of this dude. Okay, where he at? Where, he at? where is it at? Uh, where is it at? Hey, uh, no, that ain't it. Uh, right here. Right here. Now, look at this. Hey, Bible said the hair is a dead giveaway. Now, if you look at this dude right here, he can find a pass for a fuzzy wuzzy. So I was saying to myself, damn, was the was the was this a far people? Did they come over here too on the Baron Strait? And then the Hindus mixed in with these people as they was coming over here, thus made his hair a little bit straighter. 
And the Chi I know the Chinese with Ho Shin mixed in with these people. Now, look, I went and looked up. Uh, Baba said, Wash a time, right? So look at this. Check this shit out. So I went and looked it up. I went and looked up Wash a time and see what the, the geographic location, because that's another way I do research. I look at geographic locations. Now, look at this. This is here for the blow you, man. I said, oh, shit, son. So the Washington's and Williams is with that Melodian mix. Um, let me show you. Uh, that, that came over here with uh, with Abu Bakr them and uh, Mansa Musa them. Let me show you right here. I looked up Washington to see where, where the hell, uh, like the geographic location. And look, look, the location it gave me was West Africa. It said, look, it's West Africa, bro. It's a town in West Africa. The, the people that was called Washington are from Washington. That's West Africa. Hold on, let me put the, let me type in the map. And I was like, oh shit, this go back to, uh, it's West Africa, bro. Hold up. Let me pull up where the map is. Yeah, okay, this, like, this right here, a map like a North Africa, the area of North Africa. But that's where the area, if you go look at look that name of Washington, it's in that same area that the Melodian Moors came from. So now I say, oh shit. So the Williams, and that makes sense with the uh British, with the, with King George William, his name was it was Williams, and they come from it even got a family crust. The family crust of the Washington, Washington, watch this right here. This right here might be a little bit, it's on the same subject, but it just, you know, uh right here, they got a family crust for these people. And I'm saying to myself, damn, this shit is crazy. Hey, so blow the family name, crust up. But you can't say you see it. Yeah, make it right big here? though. Yeah, make okay, it big. Let me blow it up. Let me blow it up. Let me blow it up. Cause right when here. you blow it up, we gonna blow this motherfucker up. I'm gonna point yeah, out all right. of it. Look, this the family. You see the six point star, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a five right. point. My, yeah, six point. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You see the red yeah. and white stripes? Yeah. Where do the red and white stripes come from? Man, that's a good question. I, I don't know. I, mean, I, I might have I might have heard it before, but I can't remember. I don't know at that's this point a, right now. That's a marker of the Scottish right. Oh shit. Red okay. lodge, white faces. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. You the get, white you faces. The white faces stuff. is the cat's paw. Okay. Okay. All okay. right. But the white also mean royal family in Europe. Okay. It don't mean skin color in Europe. It yep, didn't mean skin right. color into recent times. That's right. Oh yeah, let me show you something else. Oh shit, brother, hold up. All right, now let, 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 let me go to this right here. I was like, oh shit, son, this shit is crazy, man. Cause I, everything you were saying to me yesterday, I wrote it, I wrote stuff down and I went back and did more research on it. Uh, let's see if it's uh, this right here, article right here. Where it said, hold on, that ain't the article. Hold on, let me go back. This right here, this right here, one of the articles. But let me talk about this article. And man, this right here shit blew my mind. And it's, it's, it goes with what Taj Sharif Bay is teaching and everything. It's like right line, it line right up. Okay, it's right here. Let's see if this is the article that I pulled up. Man, look what it say in this damn article. But hold on, let me blow this shit up. It says, a defeat in a year long engagement with the English colonies, right? It's going along with Look everything you said, too. Go ahead. Look at the year. 1677. Ursha in anonymy, anonymous politics, po poli yeah, politics and social change for the Coney people of East Eastern North Carolina since the arrival of Sir Walter's um, can't say his last name. Rod Raleigh. Yeah, Walter Raleigh. Walter Raleigh. That's who Raleigh, North Carolina, named after. Okay, all right, all right. But the part I want to get at is it says the, the the Negro color part. Uh, okay, it says, oh look, William Powell, in the time there. Uh, okay, boom, 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 boom. Okay. Crowning descendants continue to live near the homeland after the point. This point. Hold on, let me go back. It says, assume that the corner was extinct. See, they, they they did a paper genocide on these people. It's a paper genocide, right? And they they that's when they they changed the the label on, on these people. It says modern historians have overlooked corning persistence because the local government 
uh, classified county descendants as colored persons instead of Indians during the late 18th, 18th and the early 19th century. Since the late, since the late 1980s, a small group of scholars has begun to uncover the lives of Native people document simply as people of color. I said, oh shit. So they, they started, what they did is they, they did a paper genocide where they said that these people got wiped out and how did they, they wiped them out. They wiped them out with fucking saying, changing their label to, from, from, from Native Americans or whatever they, their original tribe name was, right? And they said that, oh yeah, we're gonna call you not no longer. They put a gun in these niggas' head and say, you better say you a color. You better say, hey, close my door. You better say you a, co a person of color. And then if you, that's another article that I'm looking for right now where it's in that book that I ordered where he actually break the whole thing down where he goes into, and later on, they just went on and said Negro or Black or African American. So yeah. that, that, that was part of the paper. That was another part. And then in that same book, and I, I looked everywhere to try to find a free copy of it, but I had to end up ordering the book. It says that it says in that book that uh what they was doing is that these 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 uh Jews, these Jews or whoever they were uh were the, the colonists or the conquistadors, like you say, right? These beings came over, incorporate themselves into our tribes, were killed off, like you said, killed off the chiefs, killed they don't left the women and children, right? And then they assume the position of chiefs of these tribes and begin selling our land off to the to their partners. But for, well, while you look, like, while you in there, pull up Chief White Wolf. I, I got you. I got you. Hold up, Chief White Wolf. I'm actually gonna do a whole breakdown of that shit too when I get through. I'm, I'm still researching on it, Chief. Oh shit. Chief, 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 chief. Why that damn computer stick it, man? Hold on, it's fraud. my computer slowing down, man. Oh, look, the internet. Yeah. We're help from Uncle Sam. Hold up, damn, hold up, it typed it in wrong. Hold up, shit, man. Take your time. Ah, oh, stop. Hey, it's that shit wanna fuck up on me now. Damn, man. Hold up, man. Shit fucking hold up. It, it, it still pulled it up, but it's it's fucking skipping my damn letters. All right, so uh you see what I'm talking about? Is this it? Chief White Wolf Eagle right here, this black dude, He's like a black dark skinned Indian. No, you put he was one of the original chiefs of the Dawes Road. Okay, hold on. Let me go back. That White Eagle. Yeah, Chief White Wolf. Okay, White Wolf. Okay, let me type in White Wolf. When they talk about a wolf in okay. sheep's clothing. Okay, here we go, right here. All right. There you go. There you go. John, uh, this right here, dude, right here? Yep, that's him. Okay. What you got on him, man? He one of the original chiefs that was in, that was signing those treaties on the Dawes Road treaties. Huh. Do your research on him. Yeah, I got him right in there. For the he, he, lived, he, he was old as hell. But remember, wolf in sheep's clothing. What color is a, a wolf's um, fleece normally? Like uh, like grayish white, uh, gray? Yeah. yeah. It's more white than gray. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a usurper. Uh, hey, what you mean by that? Because you uh, break that down, usurper. Uh, I got an the idea one, what you're saying. So the one who come in to replace another. Okay. It looked like right. he got, it looked like he got some mixed, like he mixed with something. And I see you that he had black, he had black in him. But what else is he mixed with? Is he because I don't like the Chinese side really? Go to Wikipedia, find out where he was born. Okay, all right. Okay, let me go back. Let me go back. Okay. Oh. Okay, Wikipedia. Let's see. Let's see. Born between 18 and Indian. Uh, uh, Minnesota. 
He was so born they in Minnesota. Say, they say he lived in Minnesota, but they don't say where he was born, died. Was it uh, in the Indian lived in a Cass Lake, Minnesota, in the area? Uh, he did. That's where they settled. That ain't where okay, he, they right. gonna never tell you where he was born. Yeah, they don't want to tell that. Where, where, where was he born? On the other side of the pond. So hey, so he was John Smith. Cause, Cause that name, that name sound familiar with the Pocahontas story. The, the John Smith and John Roth story. You catch you, you catching on, young Gelder. You catching on fast. Oh shit. Man, this shit started to get crazy, man. You making me sweat, man. <laughs> shit. So hey, this dude, hey, is this dude connected with John Smith? Cause about to hold on. 18. Don't he tell you his name, John Smith? Yeah. Oh <laughs> shit, son. This shit crazy. Look at the dates. Oh yeah, yeah. Early as to allegedly as early as 1784. So because all right, so they, they said they don't know for sure it was it 1822. It could have been earlier than that. Allegedly as early as 1784. Oh shit, son, this shit crazy. So hey, what was his connection? Oh shit, man, this shit get crazy. Hey, what was his connection between uh the John Smith? And then you can tell by his goddamn hair, because Bible said that hair, man. You watch look at that hair, that'll give him away, man. You know what I'm saying? Right, that because what he have is not hollow hair. Yeah, he That's don't got hollow hair. He yeah. got six feet of length hair. Yeah, fur, he got fur. It's difference. Oh, oh yeah, it is. So it's like got fur, hollow hair. Then you got uh the nine ether, the eight, mm. the eight, what the uh, fuzzy was he's rocking. Oh shit, son. So this dude, I bet you, man, I bet you based on what I'm thinking about, I bet you this dude father somebody came over, uh, like he 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 was like some of the Indians they took over there and mixed in to start the breeding process so they can bring these beans back over here. Listen, take, take. We, we ain't gonna go to speculation. We don't have to. Go ahead. Right. Look at his relation to the Dawes role. It's the most important part because they made him chief under the Dawes role. Okay. Okay. What his is Dawes? Name, his birth name is John Smith. His Dawes yeah. role name is Chief White Wolf. Oh, shit. This shit is oh, uh, That just caught what you just said about the wolf and sheep clothing. Oh, shit, son. Oh, shit. Because John Smith is like almost an English name. It is an English so, name. Ain't no almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't had, we ain't had no J's over here. Yeah, we sure didn't. Oh, shit, son. I, I, you know, I'm just a, I'm a baby on this more science. More science. So I, I, I'm just... I'm sucking it all in, man. This is a lot of shit, man. This is a lot of... It says the old Indians to the location white people. He had eight wives and no children except for an adopted son named Thomas... Thomas. Oh, shit! Oh, shit. Tom, Tom Smith. That name sound familiar, too. Because, look, you know, they talk about Thomas Roth or Tom Roth. Oh, shit. This shit is crazy, man. Hey, okay, get, get now. Him get him out of here, bro. If you pull up the Dawes roll and you start looking at who, who was the creator of the Dawes roll, it was one of the presidents. I think it was Andrew Jackson. Oh, bro. I think I'm spelling that right. D A W E S. A D A W oh dolls like okay all right I got you dolls roll all right dolls roll final roll I was dealing with okay all right oh shit sir hold on I gotta I gotta save all this man because I'm gonna go back and research this later the dolls roll also known as the final roll are the list of individuals who were accepted and eligible for tribal membership in the five civilized tribes, Cherokee Stop. Creek. Go ahead. All right, what? now, go back and read it again. You missed the something. Dawes, 
the Dawes Roll, also known as a as the final roll, are the list of individuals who were accepted, accepted. as eligible. Yeah, like as, as, as in free people. as in free accepted as in free accepted Masons. <laughs> okay, Where, okay. Go ahead. As accepted as eligible for tribal membership in the five. Now, this is what they say. They oh, saying they are oh. these are the ones that were selected. That mean they picked them by hand. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And to meet the criteria or the qualifications of what an Indian was going to be in the future. Oh, shit. Sir. This is why we wasn't never Indians. Damn. This shit crazy, man. Indians, is this is the creation of the Indian reservation system. Okay, all right. Yeah, I read, up on, I read some of this today. I, some of that is in that book uh, that I was reading earlier. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, sir. I got to write. I got to have this book there, man. Hold up. I gotta write this down, man. Uh, but hey, you better believe I'm gonna come get to the bottom of this shit. But tell it. Okay, so let's go back for uh, a minute while you're doing that. Okay, I, I, you, you pulled up fuzzy wuzzies. Yeah. And you said they remind you of a tribe over here. Yeah, called a Shoshone. The way they right. look. Now watch they, this. Okay. We have mirror tribes on every land. Okay. The Hopi. Okay. Mirror tribe in Inky's land is called the Zulu. Yeah, that's right. They, the, the, the dress, the dress, man. I, I was saying that too. I was saying, damn, the way these people dress and the way the uh, even the uh the Hopi they connect with those uh with those Aztecs. If you look at the way the Aztecs dress, it got the same tribal dress as the Zulus. And I said, oh shit, that's a connection there between the Zulus and the Aztecs. Right. Now, mm -hmm. over here, the ones who wore their hair as a crown, mm -hmm. their hair mm -hmm. had to be like the fuzzy wuzzy. Mm -hmm. If you pull up chieftains from Polynesia, mm -hmm. you see they got afros. Mm -hmm. Pull up Polynesian chief. A king. Uh, Polynesian. Polynesian chiefs, you said? Yep, yep. Uh, internet trying to run slow on me. All right, let me put up what they look like. Hakeem. Hold on, let me, let me take this dude to my wife. So, I don't know how well y'all can see that, but the Polynesian chiefs. I'm going to blow it up. I'm going to blow it up for you. I mean, let me blow this up. Okay. Can you see him? See that one got his head gear on, so you can't see his actual hair. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me let me blow it up there for find somebody with got the head gear on. Okay, uh let's see. Uh what about this one? Can you see this one? Man, that ain't one. Okay, hold up. Uh Polynesia. Okay, this is the culture right here. Uh, okay, boom. It's a white dude. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, let's see. Okay, maybe. Uh, okay, okay. I can blow. Let me try this one right here. Let me try this one right here. Ah. <coughs> uh, okay. Hold up. Uh, you can see Polynesia. that by looking at them. They look like light-skinned Negroes. Yeah, yeah. And some of them right. look like they got like a little Asian in them. Kind of. Okay, look. Pull up last last chief of Hawaii. Alright. Uh, yeah, I, 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 man, I'm already on it. Last chief of Hawaii. Hawaii. Let's see, spell that right. All right, right here. Let me blow him up. Oh yeah, this right here, dude, right here. Look, oh shit, I was on. Look, I was researching this. Oh shit, son. It's a book uh, that I got coming called. Uh, okay, this right here. This the King of Hawaii. All right, I'm blowing it up. You see it? 
Is that him right there? Yep. Now he man. looked like Larry, he looked like Larry Hoover. Yeah, yeah. And he got the man. Oh shit! This hey, that's what I want to ask you. Okay, because I be I've been seeing this a lot. Now I see the Knights of Templar had different symbols like this. The royal family, even the royal family in Britain, right? Is it that we know that we know they're not the original royal family, but they got the same type of uh fucking garments on. This uh this adapt medallions. So where's the connection between there? Is that nice of Templar? It's like you got a nice of Templar fucking sign on right there. When they came over here. And Marcus they, Garvey. Go ahead. He got the same shit. Look, when, when they came yeah. over here, they would uh challenge our chiefs to master their doctrine. Hmm. This is how they knew who to kill. When you dress oh. up like that, when they, when you dress like that, they murder you. Oh shit. If you're from the land. That means that you can master anything they put in front of you. Scottish Rite, York Rite, Shriners, um, mm -hmm. Knights mm -hmm. Templar. You mastered it all. Mm -hmm. He mastered mm -hmm. all that shit. Oh, shit. So this shit crazy. Pull up uh, uh, the Tonga Chief. Tonga Chief? T-O-N-G-A. Oh, Tonga. Oh, Tonga. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find a good picture of him. Uh, okay, this might be a picture of him right here. Is that a picture of him? No. Oh, let me blow it up. Is that a, he got white hair? No, he, he, you, you're going to know it when you see him because he's going to have an afro. Yeah, well, this right dude got like an afro, but like he might be like 100 or something. Is that, is that him right there? No, he was a prince, but uh, he never got to reach the chief status. Okay, let me go back then. Hold on, let me go back. Uh, he gonna have an afro. Let's see. Uh, let's see if there's him. That's not him. I don't see him in that road you got right there. Nah, me neither. Uh, I see like a pain of some dude. Okay, this right here might be like a. Uh... That's more what he looked like. Right there, right on these pictures that's right close, here. That's closer to what he looked like. Right but... there. In the in the pictures I got, they show him in his dress, in his Tongan dress. Okay, let me let me roll down. Uh, hold on, maybe I had to put, maybe I'll put Chief behind it. Oh, I do got Chief. Hold on, let me do it like this. I, I might have put it uh, Chief first. Hold on, let me uh, let me do this right here. See if I could get it right there on it. All right, all right. Let's see, let's see. Uh, um. Hey, what what part of what geographic location these people are from? These are Polynesian islands. They sent soldiers to fight in the Seminole Wars. Okay, all right, the Polynesian islands. So, man, like, man, this is man, this is like fucking. This is a lot of shit, man. I'm telling you, this right here. So these people were you, sending people to help us. So they they said that we ain't had nobody to come help us fight against these people. They said like, oh y'all were slaves, and nobody really came to help y'all. And they, so they lying about this. It was yeah. people. Oh shit, man! Hold up. Oh man, Canada was listen. Canada was heavily populated. It was almost vacant from everybody coming to fight in the Seminole Wars. Damn, bro. Hold up, I gotta find a picture of this dude. Oh man, this right here dude connect with the. It's a list of Tongo monarchy. Okay, this right here dude was one of the dudes from the from that monarchy. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to find go yep. back to him. Man, so look, oh shit, man. This here shit is like this right here is a lot, man. This is a lot. Cause I I I, I was wondering, I didn't even have I I, I seen these pictures, right? Because I was doing research on the, the kings and, and uh chiefs of America, right? But I couldn't make mm -hmm. no connection to who they were. And now you making the connection for me of who these people are, right? And right. if you look at this dude, if you look at this dude, you can tell that he got Hindu in him. Black Hindu, like they, like, like, like he was a part of like the all max mixed with the Hindus because of the hair texture, right? Okay, so in the racial classification of the modern uh, terminology, these not called, they not called uh, Hindu Asians or Africans. They called Negritos. Negritos, okay, okay, all right, right. all right. Uh -huh. So we talking about uh, ancient races or ancient classification of people. Uh huh being divided into three main parts mm -hmm. those from africa 
the Negritos is American, the Polynesian Islands, and Japan. And then you start going into your Asians, which was Mongols and uh, Mandarins. Mm -hmm. Then you start going into your Huns, which you start getting closer to uh, uh, Europe now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Huns, mm -hmm. until they lost to Rome, was the barrier between Europe and the uh, overall the Asian society. The Huns. I, I want to see what they look like. The Huns. Yeah, pull them up. Is it H U N Huns? Yeah, H U N S. Okay, people. Let's see what they look like. Okay. Yeah. So the Huns has got to be connected with the agents, right? Okay. Let me see. Can I find like a? Uh, let me just see. Can I find? And they like they had some of them had a goddamn cone head. <laughs> Hold up, bro. Let's look at this Huns. Yeah, it says uh okay, yeah. So they might have they was they they might have been connected with the terrors then. Oh shit, oh, I need to uh let me see if I can get a get down better look on these people. The Huns. Hey, hey the picture I'm looking at is that like one of the people, the type that's, of people. That's them. Yeah, so they they was connected with the damn because that look it says right here. Oh shit, son, this shit is crazy, man. You want to make my fucking hat fall, man? Look, damn, this shit. They got like a cone head, and then and Baba Yanum taught us that these people, the the Sands people, migrated to that area and they mixed with these uh, Terus that came from they came from another galaxy, but they was living underground, right? Or they went underground as they they got into these people. And look, they're showing these people with like a cone-shaped head, almost. Yeah, yeah. Oh, geez, now, so now pull up a Mongolian. Pull up Mongolian nomads. All right. This been, this been a brain fuck you right here. Mongolian. Nomads. Let's see. Okay, let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Hold up. Let me see. Hold up. Oh yeah, it's the same damn people look like. It's them people. They kindreds, but they they got different um bloodlines. Yeah, because you can tell so they're like they face, yeah, right. They face look more like 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 fluffy looking. Right. Now look, pull up uh uh Mongolian nomad tent. Tent? Yeah. Okay, tent. Okay, let me look. Okay, I got you. Oh shit, son. All right, what's the connection on this, man? Because that look, man, oh, shit. TPs, that's the connection. Yeah, hey, Dennis, man, hold up, bro. This shit is getting crazy, man. Damn. So let me ask you this. So how do these people connect? Did they come over here, it, it, uh, like, on the Barren Strait part? Because if you look at the no. damn... No, okay. no. They came as... They, this is who Rome was fighting. Okay. And they was taking their slaves from these groups of people. Okay. Okay. And also they was taking them from the uh, Ayurvedics of India or the Hindus. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh -huh. Now, these slaves can freely marry each other, but only the most prized of their women can marry into the actual royal family as a concubine. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The, the rest of them did their services to the Etruscans as slaves. Oh shit! This shit crazy, man. Damn, damn. So let me ask you this. Okay, all right. These people, once they got the Romans, uh, allowed them to mix in with with they. So the Romans allowed them. And keep in mind, like I did a research and found out the original Romans were like uh, dark skinned people. They was called the Truskians. The Truskians. Pull this up. Okay. E T R U S E T R U S C I A N C I A N. I the the Truskians. Okay. All right. They got like like statues and shit of them. Uh, Okay, all right. So they were like they were like the Greeks or some shit. Cause they like the Greeks, you know, 
They wasn't Greek. Yeah, this right here, because the Greeks were before them, right? The yeah. Greeks predate. Okay, all right. Okay, let me see something real quick. Watch this. Let me put this on and see if I can get some old uh, figures. Okay, yeah, here we go. Oh, shit. We got them. We got them. These duckers were moles. Yep. Oh, shit, son. Look at this dude. Beard and shit. They even got this right here. Cup right here. Is, uh, that's a mole, like a mole head. Oh, shit, son. Like, you gave me a lot one day already, man. This shit is crazy. Like, look at these cats, man. That's a black dude. I mean, when you know, that's a that's a damn uh dude of of uh dark skin color. Oh shit, let me write this down, man. Hold on, let me say this, man. Oh shit, man. I'm gonna man. I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be over with, bro. All right, let me look. Let me pull a couple more up. Like, look at their headdress. Oh shit, son. So these were the, the original Romans. Like, this okay. is these were the nomads that settled Rome that got kicked out of Africa that crossed over the Pillars of Hercules and settled Spain. Okay, all right, all right. You can so they, were they go, there for the Moors? Uh, they, they, they were the ones, they, they were classified as the Moors that went over there. Right. They weren't, okay. well, none of us Moors at that time. They was Etruscans the then. Yeah, Etruscans. Man, you cracking niggas' head on this shit, bro. Hold up, man. Hold up, man. You cracking heads, man. Because, hey, by, by us being able to pull this shit up now, that make it even better. So they can actually see what we talking about that day. We ain't just rambling, bro. This shit is crazy, man. Y'all see this? These people right here, were the, and they look so all that. So, man, man, these suckers lie so much. I think that damn uh, season, all them people was like the same. These people. Seizing them, and they were like dark, but these are Etruscans. But they right? switched them out later after the fact. They had to switch them out in order to conceal a self as a moon, the unknown one. Yeah, okay. The, the, going back to fucking Italy. Yeah. All right, let, let me ask you this. What is the connection between the Roman Catholic Church and dealing with these people? Because I, because I, because I, when I look it up, when I look they at established. People, they, okay, established, wait, wait, wait. they established Rome. Okay. Rome wasn't, wasn't called Rome before they came. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, remember Chief, remember Chief White Wolf, right? Yeah. Romulus and Remos to suckle by a wolf, a she-wolf. Yeah. They talk about that. They're, they're raised by wolves. Yeah. Yeah. They, get, they come so, up with this fucking story. Yeah, go ahead. I remember that. Yeah. That was their way of saying that we adopted somebody because we was the ones who wore the wolves. Yeah, yeah. So one oh, of the women... Like, man, if niggas hearing this, they really, hey, this is like, man, you about to make my God damn... This right here is cap-twisted information right here, man. This shit is cap-twisted right here, man. Oh, shit, I'm putting... It's like, as you seeing it, I'm putting it... Like, I, I heard all these stories. I studied all these stories, but I couldn't connect all this shit together like this. But now I'm connecting. Mm -hmm. So the, the Raised by Wolf story was by, by, about uh, the Rail Wolves, the people who wore the wolf clothing. They raised... We adopted these people in. That's why they came out with the trip. They didn't come out to tell us straight out that it was us. They just said, oh, yeah, we was raised by two wolves and gave us this story like it was fucking mythological shit. Right. That's crazy, man. Go ahead. So here's the thing. Damn. The myth, the mythology conceals the mystery. Damn, bro. This the is mystery crazy. is my story. History yeah, right? is his story. That's right. That's right. Right. So when we start looking at this shit, like if you look over there where you got the uh the side piece at and you go down yeah, yeah, in I can the blow, middle, me blow it up. Mm, go down in the middle. Okay. Right Where here. you see the black one more right there. Click right that. Here. Up one. Okay, hold on, let me go back. Uh boom. Hold on, let me go back down the internet trying to fuck the skip on. Hold up, there you go. Go down, right? Uh right, right here. Right, right over here. that one you just clicked. Yeah. Right here. I think that's uh, it. Where it says uh Roman where it's not white. That one. Click it. Click it. Okay. Mm -mm, that ain't it, cause I couldn't see your cursor. That's why. I... Okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let me go. It's, it's like yep. one over. Yes, Andrew. 
Okay, right here? Right over top of the first one you click. Okay. Okay, one right One more here. up. Right there. Click that. Okay, all right. Now you see them faces? Yeah. Them moors. So. Well, they probably want to call moors then, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just for the, just for the term, but. Uh damn, bro! This shit is crazy. The first woman were black people called the man. Trust this shit you. is fucking crazy, man. You about to make me uh bad shit, man. I can't. Hey, if you this. if you look over to the other side, you can see the wolf with the two boys up under. Her. That's Romulus from Remos. Yeah, right here. Mm, on the other side of the page, all the way over here. Where these pottery is, you can see the yeah, two right here, right, here, right yeah. here. That's Romulus oh, and Remo. Man, you cracking fucking cold. Well, I'm telling you, man, you cracking cold. So that, that everybody thought that blew that story off as it was a bullshit story, but it really was like some symbolic shit to tell a real story, but try, but hide it under this story. About pull us. up, look, pull yeah. up natives and wolf pelt. Natives. And or Native what? Americans, Native Americans and wolf pelt. Native Americans and wolf felt pelt, P E L T. Wolf P E L T. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's over. Hey, man. Hey, Click one of them. Click one hey, of them pictures like and show, the, show the, the people that's mic. watching what we're talking about. You just drop the goddamn mic right there, boy. <laughs> Let me drop the mic. Let me drop the mic. Hey, you can walk off stage after that, man. Niggas thought, we was, thought he was talking crazy. These are people, these are the real, uh, what you call it, the werewolves. Those who were the wolves. Yeah. Oh, shit, nigga. Oh, shit, man. My head fucking about to pop, man. Hey, I hope y'all hey, read on this, way, man. Young Elder, I'm making it up as we go. That's what they be saying. I'm yeah. making this shit up. Man, how is you making this right here? They said this nigga, man, they said Rob Hayes. I hear niggas all, man, he talking crazy. Man, I'm glad we was able, I'm glad we able to pull this shit up and show you. These are, now, and if you want to break that down, the werewolf shit, man, God, no, this shit is crazy. Okay, now, to show them God. who we ain't, pull up Moorish, Zionist, Temple. Okay, all right. Design this temple. All right. All right. So I, I got it pulled up Noble Jew Ali now. Uh, which picture you want me to pull up? The on first this? picture. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Can you can read that sign? Make it bigger so you can read that sign. Okay, all right. Let me blow it up. Oh, shit, son. This game over, man. They, hey, we put, hey, you you making a lot of shit clear right here, man, for me, man. I'm going to try to blow this sign up. Let's see if I can blow it up. It says the Moors Zion's Temple of the Moors Jews. Oh, shit, son. Them so ain't us. Like, man, who, like, so break that down, man. Oh, shit. This is this this like the same people that that book was talking about that was selling off our land to these other niggas. That's them. This is exactly them. Dude. This who Noble Jew Ali had to go get the secrets from. See the guy in the middle with the, uh, with the uh, different dress on than everybody else? Yeah, right here. The, the, yeah, right there. The dude, old man. Look, what is his hands doing? Picture worth a thousand words, right? Yeah, man. His hands is holding some, man, or some I can't really see it. Man, I, man, I need to blow this. Hold on, let me say this picture, man. Let me say this damn picture, man. This game over right here, man. I'm telling you, this. They, 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 I'm telling you, this. Uh, man, he got he got like a Jewish garment on, but I can't see what his hand. His oh, his hands is covering one up like this. Like his one, hands, the, like, it's like this. But he is, got he something. Doing, he, I wish you could blow it up so the people could man, see. Man, God, oh man, I wish I could blow. Hold on, let me try to. Hold on, let me try to save this picture to my computer and then blow it up. Hold up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them. We're gonna get them. Hold up, <laughs> they can't, they can rub, but they can't hide. 
These oh. in little kids right here. Oh shit, sir. Hold on. Let me blow this up, man. Hold on. I hope it let me say this to my computer. Let me blow this up, bro. Go back to the picture and right click it. Yeah, I I I gotta say it on my computer. All I gotta do is load it up and blow it up now. Oh, there here you go right here. Oh shit, we got him. I'm gonna blow it up now for him. Let's blow it up for him. Hold on, Hakeem. Okay, all right. Now let me put my uh magnifying glass on his ass. Now, if you look, the uh oh shit, he holding uh, he got some kind of thing in his hand. Now you see oh, the dude with his, holding his the hand dude. up like this. That's a Masonic pose. Right. Now you see the dude on his left on his right is holding a book that he got his yeah. hand on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This who oh, yeah, nigga, you got the ass. Go ahead. This who Noble Drew Ali got the secrets from. That book that they holding is uh, uh, the Mishnah. Damn, son, this shit crazy. Right. And if you notice, it's strategic. This picture is very strategic. Yeah. If you look at, the, look at the little boy and scroll down and find the dude standing on the right, uh, right hand. Where is his right hand at? The boy, dude standing on the right, okay. Uh, his Where? right hand holding that boy on. You see, he holding that boy on. No, not him. The one standing next to the rabbi. Okay, on which side? The uh, the, the one that's holding the one the on the okay. same side that his hand is raised on. Right. Yeah. You can't find his hand, his right hand, right? Yeah. Think Pinocchio and Geppetto. Oh shit, son. Oh shit, what the hell is this man? So, so what much, are these? Oh it's so, shit, so it's so much symbolism in this picture, man. I can't even break it all down in no one sitting. Man, what the hell they I know Noble Jew Ali, he never every time he took a picture, he always shot some kind of sign. The people that know they always shoot some kind of sign, and it's it's a lot of Based on me studying the Masonic shit, I can see a couple of Masonic signs in this damn picture, especially that one when he got his hand on the book. Hey, get our right. team, uh, baby. Where your, where your mama at? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, now oh, click out of that shit. picture and go to the picture of Noble Drew Ali in the same form. This is he telling you that he got the secrets from them in his picture. Okay, okay. Uh, in the same picture with Noble Drew Ali, okay. Right here, okay. Is that now, the one right there? Yep. Blow okay. that motherfucker up too. They right. need to see his right hand is on his heart. Yeah. That's okay, the master. For the blow this shit up, big. Hold on, let's blow it up, big. Oh shit, son, man, you man, you making you making the history right here, man. This shit right here. This right here is some secret type top shit, man. That people never did think about, bro. Like I know something was going on, I just couldn't put my finger on it, man. But now you, you, you making it? You give me a whole bunch. Cause you give me a whole bunch of clues here, man. All right, yeah, that's Noble Jew Ali. I'm blowing them up. Okay, I got it. Blow up. I can blow it up some more. You think I should blow up? Yeah. Noble focus Jew on Noble, his, focus. Focus on Noble Jew Ali. You see, everybody got their hands in the front row visible. Yeah. Except that guy on, on Obu Drew Ali, right? Yeah, that's right. You can't see either one of his hands. Look closer, you'll see that his hands is in his sleeves. Yeah, the dude with the Egyptian uh, hat on. Right. Why is his hand in his sleeves? Oh, shit, sir. Like he now, hides. Now, Noble Drew Ali mechanically is saying the master has put the secrets in the public domain. They in the open. Who did he get the secrets from? They remember, they said he learned from an Egyptian adept, right? Yeah. Look at my man dressed next to him. Nobody don't notice that he all tied up. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking, and it's, he got the Egyptian garb on. The, 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 man, oh, shit, son. Oh, shit. This shit is crazy. Now look at the sister on the left of Noble Drew Ali. Her hands is in her lap, right? Yeah. And then look how his hands is. 
he got his hands like this on his on his on his uh like on his left knee or uh, his right knee. No, nah, yes, yeah, his right knee. You see the dude on the on, on besides, I think that's Kirkland, see Kirkland Bay right there. Uh Kirkland Bay, I think that's his name. And right. this dude now, right here, you see how he got his hands? Oh shit. you see his two hands locked together on his right leg. Yeah. What oh. that means is the unity is to his right. Now, if you look at the guy standing next to him, he got the same pose as Noble Drew Ali, but you don't see his left hand. Yeah, it's hidden. And then between him and Noble Drew Ali, you can see Noble Drew Ali left and right hand. Yeah. Okay, now, the sister got her hand on both of her legs. They saying they came in off the left bump. And they took it from the sister. Noble Drew Ali took it from the adept to his right, flipped it back to the sister. So she got her left and her right hand out in the open because this is what it all boiled down to is Big Mama house and she's playing the position of Big Mama. She it's sent it. her sons Damn. in on the left and on the right to get the secrets. Man, look, you fucking me up. <laughs> you fucking me up. Man, they thought Rob Hayes was a game, nigga. There, y'all, but y'all see there ain't no game. This shit is, y'all think my brother just talking shit, man, but he for real, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, bro. This shit is fucking crazy, man. Like, I ain't never noticed this shit. I done walked with this picture a thousand times. I I, I knew what, what, uh, that Noble Drew Ali was doing the right hand over the heart, meaning he had a good heart, but I didn't notice the guy to the, the other side. Sticking this man, this shit is crazy, bro. Y'all seen right, this? All right, now remember, I told man. you Albert Ooh. Pike was George Washington with a shaved beard. Yeah, Noble Joe Ali don't have a glove on his hand, nor do he have his hand in his lapel. No, the, the secret concealers have to conceal a right hand. Damn, pull up George Washington Masonic pose, man. Ooh, this shit is crazy, bro. Man, man, you blew my, my this is what you call cap twisting information, bro. This is cap twisting. Hold on. Hey, this is cap man. Hold on. Let me make sure my wife. Man, this is man. This is next level shit right here, bro. Woo. Man, God. I bet now, niggas ain't never noticed that. You just told him. Look, when Baba come home, he gonna explain it better than I can because he know it better than me. Man. I, I, I heard some people break down. Okay, you talking about which one you want to pull up? The, uh, he doing the hand on the bow just like that dude right here in this pose. Hold up. Okay. I saw. I even saw Noble Drew Ali do... Uh, okay, which one you want me to pull up? You gonna see it because he gonna have his hand in his lapel. Okay, yeah, the hidden hand. Okay, all right. Let me get it. Let me get it. Hey, Hakeem, just wait. Okay, right here. Is it is that one? Uh it's a couple more he got. It's like one more he got two. That, that's it. Now notice okay, he got me... his left his left hand is in his lapel. Yeah. yeah. That's because it's yeah. the secret is they came in off the left bump. What the left bump mean? High style. They came in hostile. Hidden hand. Okay. Okay. That's and that's our uh, General Edward Burdock right there. He was he was a nice of Templar in too with the uh they he the one that was wiping out the Lakota people. You see oh, him? Oh shit. Okay, the hidden hand. Okay, this is Napoleon doing it. Yep. His right hand is in his lapel, left foot forward. Yeah. Oh shit, sir. This shit is crazy. See, I knew that I knew that part just off studying the masonry. Uh okay, this is George Washington. Let me blow it up. Hold on, go back. Go back. Okay, right there. Can y'all see that? Hakeem, come on, get out. Hold on, let me get this boy up out here. He's pouring my medicine out. Man, dude, said he covered in here. He pulled all my damn herbs up. 
I'm, I'm gonna clean it up later though. But hey, we gotta we gotta do this. Hey, so you want me to blow that up so they can see it? I, I think they can see it right there. Y'all yeah, see? Yeah, they it? can see it. Yeah, they can see it. He 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 doing the hidden hand. The master of the second bill, I think is what they call it. In that book that I got over there by uh, it's called Duncan Masonic Rituals. Now you notice his left foot foot points to the left. Yeah, but his right foot points straight. So uh, that means he's his every step is going to be took to the, off a of left bump. He's coming in hostile. He's a hostile. Oh, they got to give you the opportunity to discover it. Oh shit, son! How about we post this in the link, man? Man, hey, I bet you after this, y'all gonna know that my brother Rob Hayes ain't no joke. Bro. I'm telling you, bro. I bet you this. All you remember that? how they used to say the 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 Indian used to hold his hand up and say how? Yeah, yeah. Right? The five, the five, that's five pillars of Islam: love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Islam, uh -huh. Islam. right? Uh -huh. So, what they talking about is that they was gonna use our science to conquer us. Make that shit make sense to me, man? How you gonna take my gun and shoot me with it? Yeah, I'm not gonna never let you do that. Ooh, this shit's crazy, but like, man, like you just pull up Albert Pike. I right, didn't pull up Aaron Pike. Man, you just gave me a lot, bro, in one segment. Bro. I'm telling you, this right here, like now, I'm gonna go back and look at every picture, every picture like that picture. You just broke down that Noble Jew Ali joint, man. That's some hot, that's like some classic, man. That's like, man, I didn't never notice that dude. And no, some, nobody else probably because I ain't never heard nobody say it. I ain't never heard nobody point that out that that dude was uh, had his hands in his shirt and that he had that Egyptian tie on. People probably didn't even think nothing of it, but man, that a noble Jew Ali always did like in the picture. Like, I'm, I'm gonna put up another picture of noble Jew Ali and maybe you could give me some old because uh, Phil Valentine was on some of it too. He was breaking some of it down. Uh, you say pull up uh, Albert Pike, right? Mm hmm. Make sure my damn laptop ain't. You want me to pull up Masonic pose? Just pull him up. Okay, all right, all right, let me go. I got him. I have a pipe. All right, let me blow him up. Okay. That's George Washington without the beard. Now, you see how his hands is gripped? Yeah, but on one side, he got him like this right here, and the other side, he just got his hands like this. Like a, He got the uh, lion's paw, I guess that would be. So one of them, the right hand is a cat's paw, but the left hand is a master grip. Yeah, that's right. Okay, go ahead. That's what that. That's what that is. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Damn, bro. So this. So why would they make? Uh, cause I so the whole George Washington story. Cause now, cause like I was thinking that. Cause I, I knew he wasn't born in America, and 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 in his book. Uh, Baba breakdown because he was he was making the disconnection saying that George Washington was not pinned to the your mass uh the Wichita. So I knew that I knew that part from the book. Then I did more further research on what Baba did and found out that George Washington house is in fucking Barbados. So I'm like, damn, they said that he was he lived in that house up until he was 17. So I'm like, damn, if he was born in this house and lived until he was 17, that means he was born in Barbados. And then they said that uh that these people that had that surname Washington. Because that they come from another land. They said that uh, his name was back then. They used to name you with your father. Say if your father's name was George, your, and your name was George, your name would be George George. That'd be your name, like in, in some uh, cultures, George George. Yeah. So I said, damn, this dude's name was George Augustine. Hold on, hold on, damn. Yeah, baby, yeah. I wish I had control of the board, y'all, because while he's doing that, I could be taking off on something else. But in the meantime, all of this stuff. Yeah. Back so all of this stuff was the foundation to take over the land from the organic people to the land. Hey, break down, hey, hey, break down this picture right here, because I uh wasn't uh, I think Dr. Phil Valentine. Uh, he he broke down some stuff because Noble Jew Ali man he be shooting signs and everything that he be putting out man and 
it's some it be man, you just cracked the code on that last shit, man. Come on, man. My internet. Come on, internet. Oh shit. Man, it's froze. Oh, let me close out. See if it uh all right, hold up. Hold up. Man, you just cracked a code on that last shit, man. Let me close out and open it back up. All right, here we go. Let me see. Can I get that noble Drew Ali? Joint back up. Pull it. Hold on. Let me pull it up, man. Man, tell me what you see in this joint, man. Cause uh that's a man. Woo. I know everybody got their cap twisted up in this joint, man. Hey, Rob, we got man, we got almost 400 people in this joint. That's crazy. Man, I'm telling you. Hold on, man. I, I want you to tell me what you see in this joint right here, man. Because I know if you broke, man, you just cracked niggas head with that last uh, breakdown on that picture, bro. That joint, man. That's going to be a historical, man. I'm about to just clip that out and just put that as one, uh, put that as another video, just to breaking that part down. Man, that shit was crazy. And everybody think Noble Drew Ali, they don't know how deep this shit is, man. How high level, this shit is some high level shit, man. Uh, right here, okay. It's another picture with Noble Drew Ali, and he doing some shit right here in this picture. So what's uh? I'm gonna blow it up real quick. So I see how he got his hands a certain way, but 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 I ain't never pay attention. So you gotta, you just can't pay attention to this Noble Drew Ali no more. You gotta look at the whole picture because Noble Drew Ali be setting this shit up like a portrait. He be setting this up like some heavy duty shit. I gotta oh. admit, he one of the coldest cold talkers we got man. that we ever had. Man, I'm telling you, bro, that shit was. He put some cold like that. This nigga was back in the 1920s. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God, dog, this nigga was dropping dropping some shit back in the 19. Hold on, we blow this up, man. So can you see it? All right, it's probably like blurry and shit, but. Noble Drew Ali got his hands a certain way. Like, he ain't just do... Every time he did some kind of picture, he Everything always shot something. Huh? Everything is for a reason. If you yeah. look under the table, what do you see? Is that books? Stacks of books. Yeah. What's done under the table? Shit. Okay, all right. I see where you're going. Like, a dirt dirt done under the table. Okay, now, look it's at his dirt hands. Under the table. Go ahead. You always see Noble Drew Ali hands because he's not a secret keeper. Uh-huh. Now, it, that means two things. Success against those who came from the left-hand path or came off the left bump, right? So this is a football reference. It's a goal. And uh -huh. the extension of the left hand is further than the right, which tells you the direction that the enemy came. Yep, from Europe. From now, the east, if, from the east. Now, watch this. America uh -huh. map is upside down and because south is supposed to be up. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right? So if you face in the direction of the south, which direction will Europe be? To your left, right? Yeah, to my left. Okay, now, this is what he's telling us. He's telling us that they passing the knowledge, the books, under the table to each other to share the information between themselves. Right? Yeah. But it don't matter, because we successful against them already at this point. We already won. Damn, boy, you just, man. Ooh. Hey, y'all hearing this, man? Y'all seeing this shit live and fit live and direct, man? With the brother Rob Hayes, man. Be cracking codes. A lot of niggas okay, looking now, at this picture. Go ahead. Go ahead. What else you see in this thing, man? Now, uh, I don't somebody know. Got you their hands, like, somebody got their hands, like the, the one on this side. I think this chick got her hands hidden. And then this other chick, man, I need to fucking pull this picture up and get a good, a good. Very un unbleary, man. Man, damn, bro. But yeah, why so he it, don't got why he not wearing the feds is the million dollar question. Yeah, why he ain't wearing the feds? And what kind of headdress is that? <laughs> and 
and what and what this chick wearing on this side? It's like they like the same headdress that the uh, Queen California or Queen Khalifa from California uh, be wearing. The yeah. headdress, the emperor. The Queen Khalifa is the successor queen, the heir to the queendom. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. So now remember, they came in off the left, passed the secrets under the table. Uh huh. But we got them. The secrets is out in the open. On the uh -huh. right hand, on the right hand of the father. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Mom, on this but, side. Yeah. So he telling you that now we done with research on the blue lodge, on the red lodge. Right now we got to go to the blue lodge in order to pick up the mirror flip. Oh, right. Geez, so that's Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey took the Prince Hall doctrine to the next level. Uh huh. Yeah, I can see that by study. I can see that by studying them. Mm -hmm. Right. They brought him over here because they knew the secrets, but they didn't understand the blue lies lingo. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. Uh -huh. Garvey Garvey knew the lingo of the blue lies and the red lies. Uh huh. Right, but he need an adversary. He got to have somebody to uh, to publicly flog in order for him to flip the secrets out that's concealed in the open. Who did? Hey, who, I see a, hey who, I who was his, who was his number hey, one adversary? The uh, his own people. I get that. It's a specific guy. Oh, specific guy. Hey, I. I heard of his name, but I can't think of it right now. I know, I know who you're talking about. It, now. it was W. E. B. Du Bois. Yeah. Okay. All uh, right. Yeah, okay. So now about. he called them assimilationist Negroes. Okay. Right. W what is he talking about? Yeah. What is he talking about? He's talking about the infiltrators. Right. Is on the land, and we going along to get along. Damn. Damn, bro, this shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. Hey, you know what? I also see something else in this picture. It's a dude. The dude that sent far to the left. He got like some kind. Of, he got like something in his mouth. Like he got like a rag hanging out from his mouth. Is that? Is I'm looking at that right? Um. Oh, you mean on the right in the back? Yeah, like it'll be on his left on his left side. And the uh, this dude. And then that, why that dude sitting back there like that? You know what I'm saying? It's got to be something with it. But this dude right here on the uh. I don't know if you can see my marker, but this dude right here, far to the left, sitting down. Uh, there might be a chick. I can't really tell. Uh, you know what? I might be just looking at it wrong. It might just be his his shirt uh, with a uh, jacket on. But no, it's, it's something. It's a lot of stuff in this picture, man. I need to get the, a good, clear picture of this joint, man. Mm -hmm. But you just, hey, Jack, you gave me enough already. You gave me enough clues already on this joint. The book's under the table. Noble Drew Ali was very crafty, man, and, 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 and shooting up, giving us, a, telling us a message, man, giving us a message that, uh, like, real, he was real good at this, man. Yeah, he didn't ever, he didn't, everything he did, he did with purpose. God, dog. Hey, Darrell, I need you to come get Hakeem, because he, he, he tears many in devil. He, he, he's tearing up my stuff. I can't. Controlling right now. Hey, look, we we are we are hour and fifteen minutes in. Let's take fifteen minutes of uh Q and A from the audience if you want to. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, okay. Look, uh, anybody that got uh, on, we got four hundred and twenty people. This shit is lit. Hey, anybody on that got any questions for the brother Rob Haynes, man? Drop it in the link right now, man. Cause hey, he already. I know niggas cap already and fell off the head and and exploded already. Your cap did it. Went off, went to the moon, and it exploded already, man. He didn't already he blew my cap. I'm surprised. Hey, I had to hold my shit. The only reason I still got my cap on is because I had to help hold it to keep it from flying off. So uh well, I'm, I'm gonna point out one more thing while we waiting on questions okay. to come in. Okay. If you look over to his left on the left hand side, where his hand is extended the furthest, you will see there's a pillar that that lady you was talking about sitting on, right? Yeah. And above her head. It's a piece of paper. Oh, shit. So, right. Go ahead. Oh, man. That piece of paper blatantly out of place. Yeah, it is. This is why it's just hanging right there. 
Why would you hang it? Because that's a charter. Ah, ah. So now we're talking about the twin pillars of Joaquin and Boaz. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I got you. I'm right? You. Yeah. Where's the other pillar? Only one I, pillar is doing the dirt. The left pillar. Right, which is the red line, Scottish right, 32 degrees, the oh, buzzard that see both directions, the twin head uh vulture, the two headed the two headed bird. Wow, this shit is bad. This shit is crazy, bro. This shit is all right. Let me see what they got. Why is he only one one standing up? Why is he the only the X is why is Noble Jew Ali the only one that's standing up and everybody else sitting down? Because he's the one that's the teacher, the instructor. He's the one that's putting the secrets out in the open. The rest of them is sitting down as they are a congregation. They are attentive to what he's doing. If you look, you will really see that they all looking at him. Wow, this shit is crazy, man. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. And why he got the, he got like, hey, I, is there, is there a distinction between the two? Is there two men? And then he got three women, maybe four women on this side. Uh, it might be a three women and a dude, and then two women, two men and a, a woman on this side. But I noticed that crown that woman got on. She don't got that on for no reason because everybody else don't got that on. And I've yeah, never actually seen that's that's the uh the headdress of uh the California and Hawaiian priestesses out of family. Man. Man. If you pull, okay, pull up, pull up Ho Hawaiian Empress. Oh, I got you. Man, this shit. Man, come on, don't freeze up on me, baby. Hold on, let me, I might have to close this out and, and load it back up. This shit is crazy, bro. The brother Rob Haynes that made niggas cap explode. Your cap, I know y'all cap is probably... Hey, if you want a ball cap to this man, I'm, hey, we apologize, man. We 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 sorry. <laughs> you, uh, your cap probably already. You had to, we probably lost your, uh, lost whatever kind of cap you got on. You probably got to buy another one. I'm joined now. <laughs> hold on. He said, uh, which one you said? He said, uh, Hawaiian, Haw Hawaiian queen or Hawaiian empress, either one. Oh, my son, is really he really taking up taking care of business today, man. My wife is going to drop my stepson off. Hawaiian Empress? Mm -hmm. Or you could put Queen, it don't matter. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, all right. Let's try Queen. See if they pull up. I might do it. Okay, all right, here we go. You see one with uh, headdress on? I, put a, I, I could put a headdress. Hold on. Uh, yeah, this was a lady, too. Uh, this was a lady right here I was talking about. She was the last queen that got you yeah. served. Yeah, okay. Man, so they ain't no denying that we was over here first. They, ain't no, that, that ain't, we ain't got to discuss, discuss that no more. Hold on. Let me put it in crown. Hey, we ain't got to, we ain't got to argue that point no more. Uh, that, that we was over here first, that, that ain't even the topic no more, man. We, we going to a whole nother level. And then Queen Elizabeth got that same damn crown on. Hold up. I mean, a Queen Victoria. Hold up. Let me type try, in. Try, try California uh, Queen. Hold on. Let me type in this. Uh, Hold on, I'm gonna show you because I, I seen that crown earlier when I was doing research. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me look down. Let me, let me look down real quick and see uh, if I got this. Uh... All right, let me tap this hand. I, I know how I can find it. So I'm actually trying to find the duplicate crown to what the lady had on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I, I, I can find it for you. Uh, this right here is a, a duplicate. This right here, lady had one on right here. Let me show you. Uh. Okay. Khalifa. She had one on. This lady right here, Queen Khalifa. Uh, let me see. Can I pull up her pictures? It's similar to this one, but uh, let me see. Can I find out? 
similar to this one. But let me find. I remember seeing her with it on. It kind of looked like similar to the feather joint. Uh, uh, okay. I see how to hide the shit now. Oh, look. Uh, this might be. That's something yeah, similar to the yeah, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be exact. Yeah, yeah, but that's the. I, I I got the idea of the one she got on and the one Queen Khalifa was wearing. Uh, and it, you know they got a book out that I'm ordering. They said that this lady, uh, she got mad and when they was still in her land and she got outraged in the court. And uh, this when they was rocking the rights. The, it was dealing with the Germans. It's like a German book. And I was like, oh shit, sons, I'm gonna be bringing that to the light too. Uh, when I get that book. By Queen, it's a book about Queen Khalifa, California. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, I see, I see that we they get. The, I, I think they get the gesture of the type of crown that. Uh, okay, this right here uh, might be a good representation of it right here. You see that one? Yep. Yep, that's a good. That's a good example. Okay, so what's the so, connection? But go ahead. When you be looking for that stuff. You got to always remember the same, but slightly different. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That look like the same one that chick got on, man. Hold up, let me blow that back up. They put that side by side, boom. Okay. All right, that, that's damn near the identical same one. Like, it's, it's, it looks it look similar, but like it ain't got the, the, like the grooves on it, but it got the same little diamond thing at the top that's hers. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm And hey, I don't know if she got her hands inside of something or not. So what he's saying is, man, Noble Do Ali was a whole nother level on niggas, man. Hey, man, y'all, hey, hit that like button and subscribe button if you're in the building, man. We in the building with the brother Rob Haynes, cracking codes, cracking codes, cracking hats. Hey, your hat, I know y'all niggas hat that flew off and exploded by now. If you in the guy, if you in this joint, man, niggas hat. Hey, the name of this is Native America Connect Four, and we connect that four on this shit for sure. You know what I'm saying? We connect that, we connect four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, all that shit, nigga. We connected all of it. Hey, man, you want to show the brother Rob Haynes? We doing, we doing this just out of love, man. You want to show the brother Rob Haynes some love, man? I posted his cash app link and uh for his uh. For his Instagram, I have I put if you go on go on that uh I'm gonna post it on this one too when we get through, but I posted it on his Instagram on the last one in the comments. People was asking me what's the brother Rob Haynes Instagram account, so I had posted it in the comments. If you uh go back and check the comments, and I'm gonna have it posted uh in these comments, right? Let me put that that cash out link for you. Man, y'all, man, look. Hey, we're going to get back to another question. We'll get back to another question, man. If you got any questions, like I say, drop it in the link, man. Because uh, we got we got the, we got the, uh, we got the brother Rob Haynes on, man, live, man. And uh, he cracking. And he did, he did blew, hey, my brain about to explode next, man. I, I got to make sure I keep this cap as like a, uh, dude, it's like a bump cap, like a, uh, like a constructional cap to keep my keep, keep my brain from going in the shop, man. Right? You know what I'm saying? Then they could just crack heads on that 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 noble Joe Ali joint though. That last picture and this, because uh he said some stuff that Phil Valentine said a little stuff too. He said similar to what you said, but he didn't come in with the book joint under the table. He ain't say all it, you know what I'm saying? So you just added a lot extra to it, man. A more more fucking fuel to the fire. The burn the that burn their ass up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hold on. I'm gonna get to y'all. Uh, I'm gonna check y'all questions out. Okay, in New Jersey. In hey, New I'm gonna give you a uh, give you a, a a little uh research help. Find any world history book that was written before um 1850. Any world history book? Hold on. Let me write that down. For 1850, right? Yeah, anyone before 1850. All right, yeah, I'm gonna be I'll be getting back with you on that. It's if not gonna find. be the same world history as if you get one now. Okay, okay. 
The world okay. history is going to be totally different in the 1850 text or before or anything after. Because it was in the 1890s when they started creating the constructed fraud and it didn't take a stronghold to 1933. Okay. Right? Okay. So that's when they was fabricating the artificial education to mislead us. But they uh -huh. were already moving in with the church school system, right? And the church school system was the colonizers' attempt to educate our children. Uh -huh. They kept running into a problem they couldn't control. This before they understood, understood the Skinner box. Yeah. Hey, keep talking. Keep talking. Let me just go ahead. So the children that was in the public school system or the church school system used to sit in a rank and file oldest to the youngest. But by the time one of the ones from the back row got to the middle row, they knew everything that the children in the front row was supposed to know. They say they learned it too fast. We have to separate the, the classes because the way we used to teach in our community is we, that's our original setup. Mm -hmm. The class that sit in the front learn from the instructor, right? Mm -hmm. Directly behind them in rank, go all the way back down to adolescent. But you teach the child that's two, a year to three years younger than you that's sitting behind you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They turn mm -hmm. around and teach the children behind them. So mm -hmm. you start off with a bunch of 18, 19 year olds, but you end up with four and five year olds being taught. Now, the problem with that, that they, they discovered the problem with that was is by the time that the kindergartners in the back got to the fourth or fifth row to the front, they knew everything in the front row better than the motherfuckers in the front row. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, so now they, mm -hmm. had, to, they mm -hmm. had to break us up into classes by age group so they can control the out, the the outformation of information, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So now they can give us bits and pieces and crumbs. A child in the first grade is not being exposed to calculus, trigonometry, and geometry as a 12th grader would be, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. that's, what, that's why they changed the school system after the works of B.F. Skinner and uh, Ivan Pavlov. Hmm. That's mm. your whole school system training you for their institutions. You only gonna be trained for two things in public school, prison or labor. That's it. That's right. That, hey, that, hey, that's right. See, there's, mm -hmm. there's no critical thinking in the schools no more. They took it all out. Mm -hmm. It's called rote learning now. I'm gonna say it, you write it down and when I ask you what I said, you just repeat it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Parents. The conquistadors love parrots. What do the pirates wear have on their shoulder? Right. You right. did? Who the fuck is the pirates? The conquistadors. Dang pirates of the Caribbean. Pull up black conquistador. All right. I'm going to pull it up. I need to get my damn phone charger so my phone won't go there. Black Con conquistador. Conquistador. Uh, here we go right here. All right, you want me to blow uh this first dude up? Um, you see where it right where it say uh, it don't yeah. matter which one of them you pull up, you are gonna still see them. Okay, let me blow uh, this right here. Uh, let me hold on. Let me blow this one up. Uh, okay, boom. And I remember this dude right here. I remember coming across some research with this with this damn dude right here. This knights, he a knights of Templar, knights of uh. Oh yeah, that's a connection, man. Let me ask you about this about the knights of uh. What was that dude name? Not Anthony. Uh, what was the dude name? Uh, they like the they they before the knights of Templar. They call the knights of not the knights of Columbus. The knights of knights uh, of Malta. Not the knights of Malta. Uh, King Arthur. Oh, the Knights Arthur. of the Round Table. Yeah, that's, Knights of the Round Table. That's the Moorish Order of the Round Table. Okay. And and so, what, hey, what's that? What's that connection with? Because that that because that, that word you was using at first, uh, you call it con conjuring. 
the, what how do they connect? How do the Knights of the um, Round Table connect with the Conjuring Wars? Because 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 I, I, I remember they said that uh, if you go back and study the doctrine of uh, that that lady was writing about Harry Potter, she said that the Knights of uh, the Knights of uh, King Arthur, one some of them was the ones that was instrumenting st- setting up these schools, these alchemetic schools, and training these people with the Conjuring. You know what I'm saying? And so do that, does that have a, does that have a connection with the does, does the uh Knights of Templar or are you just telling me what well, does the Knights of Templar have a connection with uh the con, con like what's their connection? Cause, Cause I know you said the blue lodge and the red lodge, and to me it seemed like the Knights of Templar were with the goddamn red lodge and then and the blue because 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 all Look, everybody in the red head. lodge, first of all, everybody in the red lodge not the same. They're not all dirty moors. They're not all dirty moors. Mm -hmm. It's a very specific group of a small number that wields Mm -hmm. great power. Mm -hmm. Does it connect with the red, the uh, the Rothschilds? They say they connect with the Red Cross uh, shit with the Roman Catholic Church. I I ran across some shit like that too, where it says that these people was a a part of this red shield. So does that Rothschild group connect with the? the, the, the dirty the dirty suckers that was inside of the red lodge that's they cat's paw okay all right yeah okay how can Man, you be you a blood shield like, uh, listen you a blood shield what blood the bloodline mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you the one that's gonna take the fall to keep the bloodline safe mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. oh so they hey yeah that's right so man that's that's man what you saying Every time you say something, it's like it connect with something else that I that I know. And they said that the Rothschilds and the uh, was not the real family that's in charge. They the people that take the fall. Yeah, they the people that take the fall. I said, oh shit, when you just said that, it just made it made sense. Right, because they don't want us to know. The Druids, if you, they they got us believing. Look, they got us believing that the ADL, the Anti Defamation League. And the Jewish Defense League is all pale faces. Yeah. All right. Pull yeah, up the they... pull up the ADL logo. All right. ADL logo. Right, let's see what we got. Where of the motherfucking black fist. Okay. So uh they not giving you their logo, they giving you the ADL initials. Pull up uh fist lo- uh ADL fist logo. Okay, ADL fist. F I S T logo. Okay, all right. Oh shit. Black oh. power, my brother. Black power. Black power. Hey, black, black lives power. matter. Black power, black my lives. brother. Damn, son. Look at that reef around that shit. And that's the same reef around the, the, the United Nations. And that's right here ties in with George Soros, don't it? With that black with that Black Lives Matter shit. Yep. Oh shit, son. You got him, man. This day, hey, this is at the beginning, they want to worry about on this, man. This this now when this, they when you see where it say white power at, that's yeah. the royal family. That's them. Oh shit, son. This shit is just crazy. It's just man. I buy this bad. This is a here's just it's a lot of shit, man. It's a lot. Like it's a lot that people. It's a lot of you, man. You good at signs and set figuring out these symbols, man. Cause like it's a lot of stuff that it just go. Nigga, look at that. It just oh, that's black power. It just go right over the head. They wouldn't even cut back about what the, it's an ADL. And what does ADL stand for again? Anti Defamation League. And that's the yeah, that's the George Soros. George Soros, right. he's more a member of that shit. Now the JDL, the ones we looking at now, yeah, they they like the they like the FOI for the black Jews. Damn, bro. They the Damn. ones that they the ones that uh, murdered Noble Jew Ali. They the ones that exiled Marcus Garvey. They the ones who was trying to kill Elijah Muhammad. They murdered Clarence 13 next. They formulated a group in Washington, D.C. called the Black Muslim Mafia. What? 
They the ones, if you look the Black Muslim Mafia up, you will see that they mass murdered Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's extended family. That's because he didn't believe they rhetoric. He wouldn't convert. He wouldn't uh, sell out. All right. So these are the cats. Look, like the same niggas that was in on Malcolm X, too. Oh, look. Hey, two of them dudes they said shot Malcolm and had nothing to do with it. Right? They just uh, framed him. Like this dude, right? Is that that one of the dudes? The Black Muslim Mafia. Junior Black Mafia. The original founders of the Muslim Mafia was, they were Zionist Moors. Damn, and bro. they targets was any one of us that was in the position of prominence on the land. So they was hired by these other, these, these black fist jokers? Uh, the ADF? The ADL? No, they, they are the ADL. The oh, Black Muslim shit. Mafia is just another name. Yeah. So, man, going back to that first picture that I pulled up, when you say pull up this picture of the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, like this picture right here, let me show you the picture right here. All right, because I got to get it, I got to, man, I got to get to the bottom of this. All right, this picture, hold on, now, this picture right here, connected with these cats. This picture right here. All right, so where do these people, I, I, I know you said they was uh, the sons of Enlil, but where do they originate from? Like, do they originate they, out of... They don't got no or, no place of origin. That's why Enlil promised them a homeland. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit, sir. Some of these people look, some of these niggas look like Twa Man, the shorter they is. I mean, yeah, like this dude right here, real short right here. Man. Man, and, and then that same hat that they wear. And look, it was a, man, this shit is all, my brain's being overloaded because... In that Bumpy Johnson uh, series, he joined the Secret Order, and I think they had some of these signs that these people got. He joined the Secret uh, Order uh, in Harlem. In Harlem. Mm -hmm. So, they, they said, go ahead. In Harlem, the uh, chiefs from over in the New York area, they get, these ain't no average Joe motherfuckers. They will fuck a nigga up fast and silently. Yeah. Right? So they had to navigate around Bumpy Johnson, who was good friends with Malcolm X. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Right? The Whatever society Bumpy Johnson would have joined, it would have had to be for the benefit of the New Yorker. Yeah, the that's, what it, the that's native, what it was. The organic New Yorker, not the invaders, because he knew what was going on. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And I, I think this, it was like a, it was like a black, uh, well, you know, I, I know they don't like the word black, but it was a black organization. And they had black lawyers, doctors. They had black politicians. They had black judges. And, and he joined that secret order. Now, I, I was thinking that it was the Masons, but it was this right here shit. Was like, it, it, like it was hired like another secret society other than the Masons. Now, niggas in that organization could have been Masons, but it, like, they was, it was something else like other than the Masons. You know what I'm right. saying? That Bobby Johnson joined. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shit, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure what organization Bumpy Johnson had joined, but I do know this about Bumpy Johnson, that him and the Queen of Harlem had established a, uh, a working truce with La Cosa Nostra. Oh, uh, yeah, this thing about us. Yeah, the, the, the mall, the five families. Yeah. Before, before the five families existed, right, or after, because... Like I think Lucky Luciano was the one that set it up, right? And they they probably they had his ass whacked too. Uh then before no, him, right. it was all let's go back before Lucky Luciano. So it goes back to uh what's that dude named Dutch Schillingers? Dutch Schillinger. You're talking about Dutch Schultz. Was, yeah. <laughs> before <laughs> all the <laughs> excuse me, chronic. <laughs> chronic. <laughs> anyway. Everybody in the 1920s, yeah, they all was raised by somebody from the 1800s, mm -hmm. right? Your Dutch mm -hmm. Schultz, your Meyer Lansky's, all of these cats mm -hmm. was taught by somebody who was from the 1800s. 
Mm-hmm. The mafia mm-hmm. supposed to keep their business to themselves. It's they right. Read, the mafia clashed with the same people we clashed with. So we made an alliance with the motherfuckers. Fuck it. Yeah. We got the same enemy. Yeah. And with the, the Jews, with, the, uh, with the Jews, right? These motherfuckers. Yeah, these guys right here on the picture. Yeah. Right. Now these are the same ones that uh you remember uh my man was the professor in uh New York wanted to use secret relation between blacks and Jews in a yeah, black yeah, 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 yeah. Tony yeah, Martin. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Tony, this is the Jewish own slot motherfuckers. This who he talking about. This who was pressing him, telling him to shut the fuck up. Pull up the Jewish onslaught. I'll be right back. Okay, all right. The Jewish onslaughter. Onslaught. Okay, onslaught. I'm, I'm going to try to find, uh, sound that out. <laughs> the Jewish onslaught. Okay, I got it right here. Okay, it's like a book. The Jewish onslaught. Professor Tony Martin. Hey, if y'all in the building, man, I'm dropping. Uh, let me go get my charger real quick. Let me get my charger. But if y'all in the building, hey, bring me my charger right there, man. And you can't on top of the TV, son. Hey, bring me my uh, charger real quick, baby. Hey, if you in the building, man, and you want to show us some love, man, I got the cash out dropped in there, man. Like I say, we ain't charging uh, for doing this. We just doing it for free. But if you want to show the brother Rob Haynes some love, uh, man, I'm, I'm driving this cash up in there. All right, now that's the book Tony Martin you uh, wrote at what he was experiencing dealing with these motherfuckers. Man, I gotta get this joint. All right, I gotta get this. You remember Henry Ford, right? From Ford. Yeah, Henry Ford. Ford. Yeah. Okay. He wrote one called The Wandering Jew. Pull it up so they can see the book. Okay, all right, hold on. Put it, put it up, put it up right now. The Wandering Jew. The Wandering. Oh, come on. oh shit. Oh, long. Uh, is this it right here? Oh, hold on. That ain't it. Hold up. Uh, ooh. Okay, here we go right here. Should click it so that I can see it. Yeah, clicking it right now. Oh shit, sir. This right, hey, you already just overloaded me, man. I'm telling you. Okay, that's the book right there. The Wandering Jew. Is that the one right there? Uh there's a different one. It's by Henry Ford. I don't, I don't these okay, are okay, hold, okay, hold up. I'm gonna okay, hold up. Man. Okay, here we go right here. The international Jews influence. Uh it might be the international Jew. That's it. Yeah, this way. Okay, all right. That's it right there. Man, I'm gonna have to get all these books, bro. Okay, now he put that out. He was fighting them too. And so what hey, what descendant, what uh bloodline was Henry Ford? What he he wasn't uh the Ashkenakis or the uh the Rothschilds, he wasn't connected with them. No, okay, remember okay. I told you. They use pale Italian. Faces. He's about Italian, right? Listen, listen. Okay. Ford is an English name, but hold on. We got to get to this because it's important. This is a mm-hmm. critical piece to the puzzle that we overlook. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember, I told you they use pale faces to block the institutions, mm-hmm. right? Uh-huh. And we had to invite massive amounts of pale faces to overrun the institution so we can have friendlies. Mm-hmm. Get the mm-hmm. information and put it in the public domain. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. He's one of the ones that came to offer us a, a insight into what they was keeping concealed in the lodges before he came or before he wrote about it. He Man, had to that, see this in the lodges. That's why they read that story. They said that uh, they, they didn't they murder this dude. They said that he he threatened to tell something. I, I remember a story about Henry Ford where they say he threatened to tell something and they was like threatening him to take his company. And he threatened this to tell book. something. When he and, put uh, this they, book, go ahead, he go was about to publish this book. The, uh, it's called the International Jew. He was about to publish it. And they told him uh, that if he tried to publish it, they would take Ford Motor Company from him. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. Okay. I, I ain't, ain't nothing about the book connection, but I heard him tell they're going to take his company. If he's, this, if he this, really is what all, this is what set it off right here. Uh-huh. Damn. Okay, now. What happened next? They took him to court, told him he was incompetent to uh, run a multinational corporation like Ford Motor Company Uh and that they need to surrender Ford Motor Company to the government or to the people that were suing him, actually. Yeah. So what did he do? Did he put it in his, he changed it over to somebody else's name or some shit? Uh, Nope. He he, he merged with somebody. Huh? He fought the he fought the case. Okay. Uh, won. Yeah. He won he won in court. Yeah, I remember that. I think I remember that in the movie. It's a movie out about it. Yeah. That might that might be about Tucker because they did the same thing to him. Okay. All right okay. now. So while uh, Henry Ford, he didn't publish the book now. He in court. They uh-huh. saying he's incompetent. Uh and he because he didn't have a formal education to run his company. Uh-huh. So the the guy that was prosecuting the case asked him all of these crazy ass questions about history, math, science, all kind of shit. He kept saying, I don't know. Yeah. So he never asked him anything that he could that he knew he would know the answer to, right? Yeah. But Henry Ford lawyer is listening. And he know that Henry Ford have scholars that work for him. Uh-huh. So when Henry Ford lawyer get up, he said, that man asked you a bunch of difficult questions. How come you didn't know none of that? Right? Yeah. Henry Ford's response was, he asked me a question about history. I'm not a history buff. I don't understand everything about history. But I got a button on my desk that if I push it, a historian going to come in. I'm going to ask him the question. He's going to give me the answer. I don't need to remember that shit. Yeah. He asked me physics questions. I don't know nothing about physics. I'm not a physicist. But if somebody come in and physics is required, I push a button and the physicist is going to come in the room yeah. to answer whatever the phys- question, question of yeah. physics is. Uh-huh. He say he asked me all of these mathematical questions. I'm not a mathematician. But if I got a button on my phone, if I push it, a mathematician to come in and solve any math problem, he so choose to put on the board. Uh I don't need to remember any of that. I'm Henry Ford. I run Ford Motor Company. That's the only thing I know how to do. Yeah. That's how you make the case. Yeah. Because everybody, everybody, the jury jury, jury bought that. Right. So anytime that your competence come under question, they're calling you an imbecile in law. An imbecile has no right to a property he don't know how to manage. Yeah. This is what they're trying to use in a judicial system to wrestle the company from it. Uh-huh. What he's telling them is that I'm not uh, incompetent, nor am I incompetent to your, incompetent to your system. Uh-huh. Therefore, I can administer my own affairs. I'm not a ward of the state. He was actually challenging jurisdiction at that point. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah, every the whole sense. the whole judicial system is predicated upon the fact that we are all imbeciles in law. Subjects under like is it like the dealing with the Fourth Amendment? Like subjects under the jurisdiction of this uh, United States uh, corporation. In, no, first of all, you got to remember. The Pope declared everybody in the world incompetent, that they were all wards of the Pope yeah. as imbeciles in law by papal bulls in the 1300s. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they, this is called the execution of the white man's burden. 
Henry Ford is telling them that the white man's burden doesn't apply to him because he's competent to run his own affairs. This is what mm-hmm. makes him win the case automatically. Mm-hmm. It's the question is jurisdiction at that point. Yeah, he's no he longer an embe- mm-hmm. right. He's no longer an imbecile in law. He just proved it. Yeah, yeah. Just by saying that particular statement. Right, because he's letting them know he's competent enough to manage his own affairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're going to go to another book. We're going to go to Protocols of the Wise Men of Zion so that people can see what it looked like. Oh, uh, wow. Well, you say Zion, right? Yeah. All right. Let me see. Can I? Oh, maybe it's this one. Is it that one? Darn Elders of Zion. Can you see it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. Now, this is when we do, uh, I think Henry Ford published this to let everybody know. This is the art of war for the oppressors that's coming to oppress us. Mm. Or that came to oppress us, actually. This they art of war. This is their marching orders. Mm-hmm. This is the definition oh, of how they're supposed to proceed. Oh shit. I think I read uh, like I read some of this book already about uh I read some of this book already. Yeah, uh, so William design. Cooper got a got it reprinted in the Behold the Pale Horse. Yeah, that's what that's why I seen it. Uh, I got that book, Behold the Pale Horse. That's like I, that's why I read it. Yeah, right. William Cooper. Now, yeah. if you look, they're going to be covering a couple of key points to control the society at large of the Goyim. As that's yeah, what everybody at that time is going, they consider everybody else going. Yeah, right. it's like a uh, heathen. Uh, yep. uh, sucker, yeah, pretty much another word for sucker. You, you, if you ain't with us, then you a sucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, mm. dive turkey. Uh, you ain't you, you just a heathen, uh, uh, you know, a crazy man, uh, whatever name they can term under that term. I know what you're talking about. Because Bob, okay, now, mm-hmm. Dr. Neely Fuller wrote the counter, uh huh, because uh-huh. he knew it was a, it's a thinking war. Uh-huh. This is chess, man, right. not checkers, man. Right. Yeah. So if it's yeah. a thinking war, all of their strategies in this book has to be counted. Yeah. Put Neely oh, Fuller shit. name in there. His book's gonna come up when you put his name. Hey, what's his name? Neely N E E L Y F U L L E R. Okay, there you go, right there. All uh, right, this is uh, it's a black dude. Uh, that book Fuller. right there, that black and white one. Click that. No, nope, uh, right black here. and white one. Right here. Oh, uh, hold up. Go hold back. Up. I might be right here. This there one. Go. Yep, that one. Man, I gotta get all these books, bro. Let me. Uh, this the cult. This right here book might be the book that saved our lives. The United. Hold up. Let me pull. Let's see what. You gotta blow it up because it's called United Independent. Compensatory system for breaking the chains of white supremacy. Man, you just overloaded me today, man. This shit is like, can y'all see that? The independent compensation. Compensatory code code system concept. The textbook work for speech and action for victims of racial white supremacy. (laughs) So hey, whatever happened, did your head do? Did he? Did they try to take him out after he put this out? No, he just put out a, a definition guide about a couple years ago. Okay, all right. I just so talked like, to him. Man, I talked so you gotta to get him this in, book. This book I is talked the, to the black side. Okay, all right. That's fine. I talked to right. So I talked to him in 2018. So this he the one told. He the one told. Me, board, go ahead. Go ahead. My bad. My bad. He the one told me, if you want to know what's going on, you got to look at the whole situation from the eyes of the warden of a prison. What? 
He said, if you look at it any other different way, you're going to miss critical aspects. But most people don't know what the warden, what a warden uh, would see in a prison. Uh huh. Right. The uh -huh. warden know every every fart made in that motherfucker. The warden know. Yeah. It half the COs don't know, but the warden know. Right? Yeah. Now, if I understand that, then I know that the warden has to have infiltrators in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. warden got to have inmates on his payroll, which he do. Right? Uh -huh. And this, and this informant is going to give them information that none of the other population is privy to, including uh -huh. the guards. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. this person is going to be a motherfucker that can skate all around the prison and never get a ticket. Yeah, right. I, I feel you on that. And if one of the COs have a problem with him, they, he get transferred to another institution. Yeah, I, I feel I see y'all. Yeah. My, brother, my brother was telling me some stuff like that. He in jail right now. He was telling me stuff like that. Okay, yeah. now watch this. If you know that somebody is in the prison telling, keeping all the, the uh, things in the prison in the awareness of the warden, then uh -huh. whoever it is in the warden see the earth got motherfuckers relaying him messages. <clears throat> that's right. That's on the inside. That's right. Go how ahead. do we, how do we, so now we playing fan wall though. Yeah. How the fuck did we find the nigga that's relating the messages back to uh in Leolas? Yep. But how do we find Waldo in this scenario? Yeah, how do we find how do we find Waldo? All you yeah, gotta he... do you, and the only it's only one way. Blow this shit up, blow this up. <laughs> nope. Sit back, observe, and don't say shit. Uh. right. Watch how everybody moves because the one who know all of the top secret information is the one that can find all of the nooks and crannies. And you see him uh -huh. going in the nooks and crannies, right? Uh huh. But you never see him going at odds with nobody. He, he not even the, the COs. You watch for that. Uh huh. Uh huh. You got to be an inmate because half the shit that. The warden know inmates uh, won't let a uh, officer CEO. know. Yeah, yeah. The right. CEOs will never know. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So now the dude getting the sack in from the sissy boy he sent out there to Keister some shit, he know this motherfucker real well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. He know the motherfucker that run the card tables. The basketball games. Yeah. Right? The weight yeah. lifting contest, he in tune with all of them. Yeah. Watch the moves of the players in the game, and that's the only way that you're going to know the one who have access to all of the information. Yeah, so based on that, that construct, who would you say is relaying this shit back to Elia to keep, the, keep, the, to keep him as a ward over this shit? Okay, so now... To, to find out who would be go to Switzerland. Yeah, the, 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 you want me to type in Switzerland? You can type right, in, you, you can look up anything I'm telling you along the way. If you get the urge okay, to look right, it up, right. look it up. Yeah, Switzerland is where they keep the the main bank, right? For uh, like the all the, the big timers. They got a Swiss bank account. Matter of the fact, look up the la last Swiss war. Oh yeah, okay. Let's go. Yeah, now, hey, look, you get you give me some good clues, but to, to crack these niggas head by last Swiss war. Hold up, let me get this look. Yeah, that's a good that's a good look right there. All right. Uh let's see. Can I pull up some pictures on that joint? Okay, all right. Uh let me see who these cats is. It's over. Hey, they go that red cross again. That's that Rothschild shit. Ain't that's the that's the flag of Switzerland. 
Oh shit! That, now that's a connection there, man, with the Rothschilds, ain't it? Keep going, keep going. Hold up. Uh, okay, now go to the, go back to the main web and look up on the Wikipedia page to find out when they last had a war. All right, let's check that out. Oh shit! Hold up. Yeah, you give me some good good clues, man, to put this shit together, man. Some good clues. Because, hey, look, that's where all the money is. Because if you want to find out something, follow the money. That's what we're saying. And that money because is the, the money holder is the bank. And the bank is going to have all the information. Because it need to know who it can trust with the money. 1798, and the French army overran the Confederation in 1798. Oh, hey, the, 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 they got a war in 1499, but the last one was in 1798. Oh, all right. Shit. Now, Google this question. It's doing around the same time as King George. That's was, right. And, the, and that's Napoleon, them. It's connected with Napoleon. Right. I think right. Napoleon, them, was in that time. Oh, shit, son. So Napoleon the, was in the, uh, in the 1880s, I believe. Or eighteen like sixty, like like yeah, it's like eighteen. Yeah, you right because that, that's uh. Hold on, I'm thinking no, uh, no, nah, nah, uh. Hold on, let me look it up real quick. I will come right back to this. I think Napoleon. Oh, you know, seventeen hundreds. He was yeah, he, the, he, he, around the time of Toussaint in the Haitian Revolution. Yeah, because King George got overthrown in eighteen. Well, they was overthrowing him in the eight, like eighteen oh one, eighteen oh two, all the way up to eighteen twenty. But it, they really lost it in 1837. But I think Napoleon, he might have been a little bit like the 1798 date. I think he, he was either a little bit just right after that or during that goddamn time during the, the French, French Revolution. And so, hey, what's the connection with them with this last war in 1798? That's, that's what I'm showing you right now. Oh, I'm finna show you the connection. All right. Now, their last war was with who? The French, right? Yeah. Okay, now, who did the New, the New Orleans purchase and the Louisiana purchase? Oh. Who was the holder of the uh, uh, protectorate agreement? Wasn't it the Chata Indians? Uh, I mean, they might have been called something you know, else. Listen, listen, Louisiana purchase. Yeah, the French. The French is, took over, yeah. The, right, the French to okay, go. No, they, stop, stop. Yeah. You're at the French. Yeah, that's the same people that the last war of the Swiss was, right? Yeah. Okay, now the they sold New Orleans protectorate right to England. That's what they told us, right? Yeah. Okay, England decided that because we had a left our villages in our homesteads to go fight the Seminole War, they declared everything vacant and abandoned. This was the same time, hey look, this is the same time of the British, uh, like the Patriot movie, this is the same time the British was coming to, uh, well, take that back, in 1775 is when the American Revolution started, right? And if they was fighting against us, the Moors, the British. And then at the same time, they was waiting on these French to come over. So it's about around that same time, man, when the French got the Louisiana Purchase. So, oh, shit, man, just keep on going. Because you you, you make it, you connect this shit for me that, that this is it's crazy, man. This shit is crazy. You connected so much for me right now that I'm going to be able to make a bigger picture of what really went down on this shit, man. Because the French, okay. they said, because I heard in that movie, they said the French, they were waiting on the French to come help them, and they were down coming through Louisiana. And now, and this right here, about around the same time, what you saying? Yeah. So, oh, shit, son. This shit making my head hurt, bro. I'm telling you. Okay, now, we got a sidebar for a second because I got to give you a, a, a little back reference. Yeah. With the Etruscan and Moors, didn't only settle Spain. Uh huh. They settled Rome, which is the capital of Italy, or they conquered it and settled. Uh, and they they conquered Paris, 
Mm-hmm. Paris was the city of Isis. Par mm-hmm. Isis, it's actually the par- Parthodine of Isis is the name of the city. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, who built the Eiffel Tower? The French, right? Because uh-huh. it's right there in France. Uh-huh. Same person that gave us the Statue of Liberty, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. I see. I hear. I can hear where you go. Go ahead. Okay. Now, remember, the last Swiss war, they fo- they were fighting the so-called French. Uh-huh. The Spanish, the Dutch, Portuguese, and the English, and all of these countries are in the process of purging. Uh-huh. The, the Moors from Europe to send them to the Al Maghrib. Morocco. Right. But it wasn't Morocco. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't it was the Al Maghrib. West Africa. West uh, Northwest Africa, right? The Mandingo land. Right now. Yeah. The people who still running the show would stay out of all of the wars because they defy the financiers. Uh-huh. Okay, now, the French turned tail from the Americas and left it with the English. Uh, They got the ass kicked in uh, Detroit by Chief Pontiac, right? Uh So they what you call, that's called constricting. Military force is constricting now. That means everybody's Uh drawing back home. Uh Now, if you know military history, not unless you are victorious do you call your troops home. Yeah, yeah. You fight right? to the death. You fight to the death. Yeah. Right? And the only way you don't fight to the death is when you're down to the last soldier and you got to save at least one. And you just said something a minute ago where you said Pontiac. Uh-huh. And then I, I, I noticed I noticed the Pontiac, they got a car called Pontiac and the sign is an arrow. The sign, the symbol is like an arrow. So I was like, yeah. that's a connection. That's it the is with the Pontiac car and the Pontiac chief thing, dude. Yeah, yeah that go back. You go back to the trade unions, and the trade unions was put together, predicated upon the uh, what we call uh, skilled trades workers. Uh huh. The skilled trades was taught hands on and passed down normally in families. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. And it was a certain amount of uh, control to have over their life by learning the skilled trade. This is what makes their union slightly different than a regular union. Uh huh. Like you, you, your, your father was a carpenter. He teaches his son, and then he teaches his son. So it passed down a generation to generation through the through the bloodline. Yeah, right. you had to go to those schools. So Big Mama used to keep track of which of her sons to call for specialty work. Uh These formations is what they call workers' guilds, Uh right? Workers' guilds have to be communicated across all other guilds so that they don't overstep their boundaries. Uh So they form a, a fraternal brotherhood of guilds and they call it a uh, workers union. The unified workers come together to control their life and their destiny. Uh The goal of a guild is to be able to control the inflation rate that is put on your labor, Uh right? The other way to control the inflation rate is you have to have negotiating power with the banks that's the developers who sets up corporations to be operators of their um, asset. Uh Uh-huh. That's how it works. Hey, let me ask you this. Because you talk about the French in uh, in Bay, Louisiana. And then Buffett Johnson, they were scoring the the, the, Dutch, I think they call it Dougie or something. They, uh, but it was hair run, right? They were scoring that from the French connection. And that French connection had a connection with the Italians. I believe it's something with that because they always play these games in movies and they say, oh, yeah, let's see how, how sleep they are. And uh, yeah, Bobby Johnson is going from this French guy. And 
the mob getting it from this. So, hey, so what is the connection between the French and like we're going back to what you were just talking about a minute ago with the Pontiac, man, I mean, with the French taking over Louisiana Purchase? And I heard Baba say that that was connected with Ben York and Lewis and Clark. What you what, what you got on? Because I uh, I'm still looking for shit on Lewis Clark. I only got like Look, a certain Lewis, amount. Yeah, Lewis, Lewis and Clark. Clark. Right, Lewis and Clark was land surveyors. Ah, huh. go ahead. And they hired. <clears throat> they came in to. Uh, it was after the Louisiana Purchase. Somebody had to traverse the land and map it out. Okay. Right. And during the course, they have to keep a star map and a diary. Okay. Right. Uh -huh. The star map is going to tell them the extent of the land and the amount of time it takes to traverse the land and read these stars. You can read the whole lay of the land. Uh huh. Right. Uh -huh. <clears throat> So they know about the Rocky Mountains, right? All uh -huh. the way into the uh, the north ports, northwestern ports of New Orleans, I mean, of uh, Washington and Oregon, right? Okay. All the way into the, the tail of Alaska. Okay. All right. So now they stopped. I think in uh, either Oregon or Washington State. Uh -huh. And then they turned around and came back. The return trip, you mark your days, keep your diary, and you map the stars on your trip back. To And this is called self-correcting in, um, in the science. Okay. It'll correct itself if one of your days is off. It'll self-correct on the return trip. Uh -huh. If you keep accurate position, they need a navigator. Yeah, they, they, they talk about the Moors and like the Masons and all that, uh, using the stars to travel. Like we, we used to sail from Africa or whatever. Uh, they probably, you know, they probably got another name, other names for it, but I just say Africa so everybody can know what I'm talking about. They say we as Moors, we used to use the stars to navigate. So, the who taught these white boys how to do this? And then what was, was it? Was, they you said they were mapping it. Wasn't no, wasn't no pale skin navigators at that time. Okay, all right. So what? How did they get over it, here? Look, uh, the Lewis and Clark dude. Listen, Christopher Columbus navigator uh -huh. name was Peter Del Negro or Pietro Del Negro, A black, which translated into English as Peter the Nigger or Peter the Black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on with it. Come on with it. Because All right. He was a black Yeah, okay. Hey, you know, and I think that... Hey, okay. Chris Hold on. Let's close the kid. Hey, so was that dealing with, the, uh, uh, you know, 1492, they had an April Fool's Day, and when they, they kidnapped some moors, and they held a family and said that if you don't help us navigate over here, we're going to kill your family. And so they and they had to say, if you don't return with this dude, uh, we're going we're gonna, to... So assume that you had him killed, or you you told what we was up to, and we're gonna kill your family. And that was what, uh, like April Fool's Day, and all that connects to that Christopher Columbus thing, right? And uh, not, so the navigator, not, so the, what possessed this brother to now help these demons get over here? That's what I'm saying. Like uh, the Christopher Columbus thing. Okay, stop. Okay, they look like us, but they ain't us. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, go ahead. Okay, now remember what's go taking ahead. place in Europe when Christopher Columbus is getting ready to make his journey. Okay. Queen Isabella and... Um, Fernando, Fernando. And, and, her, and Fernando. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. They are, they are gathering resources from some Jews. Yeah, okay. To finance the voyage. Okay. In Europe, Jews has nothing to do with Hebrews, Judaism, or anybody from the Middle East. Okay. The Jews is the reference to the Blackamoors who's running the show. Okay. Right? Okay. Pietro del Negro being a navigator 
in order for him to be a navigator at that time was well aware of the Americas. Okay. Yeah, you're right. you damn so right. Okay. Come on. We're coming with something right here. Okay. So what's Chris, Christopher Columbus doing when he leaves? What is, what is his intended purpose? The trade? Uh, to, to see the new land, to discover. He said he discovered a new land. That's a bunch of bullshit, but, you know, to discover something, Listen, uncover. <laughs> this is what he tell uh, Ferdinand and Isabella. I know a better trade route to somewhere called India, but at this time, India doesn't exist. Okay, go ahead. Right? And when I make this other voyage across the pillars of Hercules is where Atlantis is, uh -huh. right? Uh-huh. Plato? Uh-huh. Okay, now, he's telling her, when I make this voyage, I'll find a shortcut to India and set up trade routes. Uh-huh. India don't exist yet. There's no country at this time called India. Uh-huh. Where in the fuck is he going? Right. Right? That's a good question. Okay, yeah. now, he have, a, he have to have a navigator for his ship. At the time, only the Etruscan Moors were navigators. Okay. So that means that they already know What's out there beyond the sea? Yeah. Through the and pillars, he, Her hey, through the pillars of Hercules. At this time, did these suckers still think the world was flat? Uh, Christopher Columbus now? They hadn't, they hadn't, I know I know Marco Polo went to the, the West East, and he probably had a more hip than them out. And then this dude right here, Columbus, uh, went to the to the uh, West, Western Hemisphere. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Go ahead. Okay, now. So if he's going to set up trade routes with some people from India, wherever the fuck that is supposed to be at, he's supposed to find them by sailing across the water to the west. You're right. They did tell him that if you sail too far to the west, you're going to fall off the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. He was like, no, we're not going to fall off the earth. Now, remember, Peter the Black is the navigator. Uh-huh. All right. This is what most people don't know. The navigator is the real leader on the ship. Uh huh. The captain is actually the second in charge. The navigator is the most important person on the ship. Because without the, right without the navigator, you're going around in circles. Who was right. a black navigator who sailed with Columbus to the New World? There's a picture of him right here. Peter the Navigator, right here. The Moor. Oh, shit, son. This shit is crazy. I ain't never, I, I knew he had somebody helping him, but I had a dude's name. This, he just gave me, uh, yeah, the dude that was helping him right here, man. So, like, we, we on point. Keep on going, man. This shit right here is right here, man. Damn, okay, bro. so now who's getting kicked out of in the, in the they're getting ready to start the Spanish Inquisition to purge Europe of these Moors? Who are they? They the Jews. The, the same they, dudes I showed you in that picture, right? Them dudes that's in that picture holding the Bible, or they holding that book, and they doing the hand. Right, thing. right. <laughs> it's the Jews. The Jews is a royal family called Tudors. Man. Right? So, I, I seen that in this. Oh, shit. That's in the Borgia. That's in the Borgia series. You ever seen that Zit series, Borgia? They talk about that. They got a, man, they got a thing called, it's like the, the season one, episode three. It says the Moors. And they talk about the, the, the Tulich connection with Pope Borgia. And I said, oh, shit. You just, like, I ain't think about it till now. You just said something. But that, 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 them people were Jews. Oh, shit. Go ahead. Man. They was named Jews because they were the uh, models of the jewelry 
that they would give the people that were their subjects to wear on their lapel pin in public. So wow. that when they cross, like for instance, if one of my people cross your path, so you just don't take her as your wife, you need to see her lapel pin. You'll know what family and clan, and now you know who to ask about her in order to see if she's available. Yeah, it makes sense. So they wear the jewels. The jewels is the jewelry that represent the tutors, uh -huh. who is the Amun or the unknown royal family or the concealed royal family in Europe. Uh -huh. All right, now, once they get in the Switzerland, you seen when they last fought a war. Uh -huh. Now they can finance. Mm -hmm. Now ahead, they can finance the wars. Now they got control of what you call international banking network. The network is not new. Say what they say. Okay, let me ask you this, and I'm, I'm gonna keep on going. Not to cut you off. Hey, so would that be say that the, the, the original Rothschilds or the original family that was doing coming out of the King George and all them were really black? These black jokers, man, these black Jews. Right. These are the ones that's about to get kicked out of Europe. Oh, shit, son. This shit is crazy, man. This shit is all coming together for me, man. Because I already got a lot of this stuff in my book that I wrote called The Hustles, man. But you, it's a whole bunch of pieces I'm missing now that I hear everything you said. I'm putting right. it all together. Go ahead. Go now, ahead. Now we, now we go in to find man. out why they got kicked out of Europe. Mm -hmm. All right. Clear your butt space bar and put this in there. Okay. The tutelage. Man, I'm on for man. This shit is old, bro. What you got? Type in uh statue of more eating man, baby. Shit. Statue of more. Two. Oh, this shit right here is. It's a statue of a moor eating a baby. Damn, that shit crazy. Hold up. All right, there we go. Hold up. Let me pull a look. Can you see it? This is why they got kicked out of Europe. Oh, shit, son. This is what they was doing. Scroll through them pictures. You got some more shit to look at. Oh, shit, son. We had to be able to identify why they got kicked out. And this is the statuary. It, it is from that back with the with the uh the uh fucking the, them dudes drinking the milk from the wolf shit, man. Mm -hmm. This was some Hindu so, shit. So now, what we looking at is the motive that them they got kicked out takes us straight to something called Babylonian blood magic. Which goes back to the drilling chrome and shit, don't it? Right. Yep. So they got all the way back to bail now. Oh yep. shit, son. Go go click on that statue and see if you can get a write up about it so you can read a little bit about it to the people. All right, hold on. Let me go to it real quick. Oh shit, man. I always want I seen this picture, but I didn't know what the hell it was. I just thought it was something I, I, I ain't even looking look, I thought it was some crazy shit that they like some kind of like uh some crazy Hindu shit. I, I didn't look it up and check it out, but now. I'm gonna make the connection to all this shit. Baby E statue, historical mystery. Man, hold up, bro. Now remember it said mystery, and remember what mystery oh, means. It said Switzerland. Oh shit. Third uh, Switzerland is Switzerland. In the, a child eaters, the towering statue has a baby half stuffed in the mouth. 
and carrying a stack of full three alarm tarts on the shoulder. Let me see that. Okay, it's carrying three toddlers. Okay. Uh, presumably later snack, snacking. Oh, shit, that's like some crazy shit. The distribution sculpture is no model work of art built in 1546 is when it was built. It is one of the oldest founding stations in the city of Bern. Bern. Yes, yeah, it's in Switzerland, man. Oh, shit. Right. So how did that connect? What the fuck? Because when they was trying to kick him out of Europe, that statue was built to tell the story into the future what they was doing. The statue is there for what you call uh, um, architectural reading. Hold on, so man, it, this shit is so I can make it. My head hurt. All right, hold up. So, oh shit, son. So those those Jews that we saw in the fucking picture that it looked like Noble Jew Ali picture, they they the one that's in control. They really like because it you know they talk about in the Roman Catholic Church. They talk about the black pope. And the black this and the, the black the real pope is black and underground the Jesuits. So we connect this shit connect with those same people you just showed me in that picture that look like Noble Jew Ali picture. And they the real they the real people that these uh front man Rothschilds really working for. Right. You dead on it. Oh shit, man. You cracking my record school, man. I'm talking about like I got another groove in my brain now. I got another groove in my brain. I feel it. I feel it being chiseled out. Another groove in my brain, man. Oh shit! So the the real because they because you know remember, man. This man. Let me say this, man. Because now I'm starting to figure it out. Because the original devils were black, like Halo and them, Tanush and them. They were dark skinned niggas. Yeah, they weren't white folks, right? Let's get that right. down uh, for first. So the original devils were black. Now we can talk about the, the Hindus and all this, the black skinned Hindus, but the original devils were black. So for us to say that, okay, these Rothschilds is a new uh, where did the devil just supposed front man. to come? Go ahead, go ahead. Look, according to religion, where do the devils supposed to come from? Uh, hell, or I mean, no. Hell, where, where did he, where did he originate? Oh, from heaven. Okay, and oh, then what well, happened to him? And heaven will be Orion if you translate that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Go, go, just, just follow me. Okay. They, they originated in heaven. What happened okay. to him in heaven? He got kicked out. They got kicked out. Why did he get yeah. kicked out? Because they wanted to be better than God or better than the, uh, you know, better. They tried, because... to over, they tried to overthrow, overthrow God. Them. Yeah, that's right. All right. Now, that ended up sending them where? Where they go when they got kicked out of heaven? To earth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that means that if they own earth, they came from someplace called heaven. Yeah. Nibiru. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, yeah. this, this Enlil. This Enlil. Yeah. Right? Because Enlil is your biblical Yahweh. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Now, now remember, He's telling Jacob he's going to promise him some land. Is that right? That's right. Okay, and, now. Hey, Baba just, hey, look, everything you said. Hold on. Go ahead. In order ahead. for him to promise them some land, they don't got no land. That's right. right? That's right. Why would they not have any land? Because they're not from Earth. They're not from here. Because everybody from here got land because we tied to it. The chosen people, the Jews, the chosen Jacob, the chosen people by, by Yahweh, right. by okay. the Yahweh Eli. Eli. There we go. You you pulled his name out. Jacob. What do Jacob mean? Trickster. Supplanter. Underminer. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's the story of Jacob? Uh, it's, from it's, a logical it's, Muhammad's it's, point of view or from... Oh, just the Bible part of that's the straight point. story. No, nobody point okay. of view. Just okay, straight right. story. Just, uh, it's, 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 he was uh, he got into it with his brother. They were twins, Esau, and uh, they they was warned, and you know it's, it's, it's subliminal to that too. Uh, the warning in, in the womb. He came out holding on his brother heel. Um, uh, okay, then he, you know, 
he grew up and then he tricked his brother Esau out of his birthrights, uh, which might be the money and the, the uh, wealth. And uh, I think for a bowl of soup, I think that's how it go. And uh, then after he tricked his brother, uh, he took off. Esau ended up marrying a Canaanite, I think if you read closely in that joint. And Jacob- Describe Esau. Esau was hairy in red, they said. Okay, stop. Yeah. He was hairy. Yeah. And he was red. Uh-huh. All right. Do they give a description to Jacob? No, they don't really give a description to Jacob. So but, the, they intended to describe exactly what Esau looked like. Uh-huh. All right. Now, what's Jacob's name again mean? Supplanter, right? Yeah. He said he came out holding on to his brother's heel. Uh-huh. So his brother is Achilles. Okay, go ahead. You remember, ahead. remember the story of Achilles? So I think, uh, is that like the Roman uh, version of it? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. It's, it's like a similar to that. The Roman got like a similar story to that story, but it's like uh, they got the different names around. Look, in the... the um. The Achilles story finds his weakness being his Achilles tendon on his heel. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right? That's his weakness. Uh huh. So uh, Jacob is grabbing Esau, the red man, according to his weakness at his Achilles tendon. Uh huh. So they telling you that Jacob is undermining, he's cutting him off at the ankles. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. And he's catching him by the heel. What did he do when he came out? He tricked him out his birthright. Who's the trickster? That's right, okay. Right? Why is he yeah. tricking him? He's trying to get the birthright, right? Which is a land. Because I could look, oh, shit. Oh, shit, I'm getting that because, look, that's why... I Taj Tariq Bay always say about the birthrights, the land that like you got the birthrights to the land. Go ahead, right. man. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go okay, ahead. now, obviously if Jacob is trying to steal the birthright from Esau, the hairy red man, or the red hair man, which is really a red hair woman, which is really Scotta, the uh -huh. Irish princess, the red hair uh -huh. princess, uh-huh, who gets treated like shit as the redhead stepchild of Europe. As the Cinderella story. Right. Okay. No, the Romeo and Juliet story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, all right. All, all right. right. Now, Damn, man, shit. she's the, the redhead stepchild. Yeah, the Cinderella story, too. Now, what they do, why does they call her the stepchild? She the one gets stepped on. Yeah. Who's yeah. stepping on her? Everybody else that thinks she less than, she's the black sheep. Yeah. Right? All these stories tied together. Yeah. yeah. Right? So if she the black sheep, she the one cast out, she's the rightful heir to the throne by birthright. Yeah. Yeah. So Jacob don't have a birthright right. So how do he try to get it? Undermine his brother. Cut her off yeah. at the ankles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah. And now... He tricked him for a bowl of soup. That means his brother was hungry. He manipulated him on an empty stomach. Yeah, as he came back from hunting. Right? Mm hmm So instead of be my brother's keeper and give his brother a bowl of soup to feed and nourish him, he put conditions on it, a contract. Yeah. Now, that was for what we call his living trust. And I'm going to show you in a minute how we know the difference in the two trusts. So he tricked him out of the living trust. So Esau left, right? Uh-huh. To go wander in the lane. Right? Yeah. I'm with you. So Jacob stays home with his father, Isaac, and his mother, uh -huh. right? Now, this is the right to stay home versus the right to leave. Esau got kicked out the house by his brother Jacob. Uh-huh. Jacob now goes into cahoots with his mother because he also needs 
what you his call father to agree with it. Oh shit! Go ahead. So his father got to give a declaration, put it in the public domain, speak it out his mouth. Then he give you my, I give you my birthright. Uh huh. Right. So now Esau's not there. The father is aware that Esau is the rightful heir. Yeah, that's right. But he's, he's going blind. He's blind. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. He's blind Damn. in his old age. Right? Yeah. So uh, what do his mother do? She dressed him up Dress in the fur yeah. coat and made him Esau's this favorite suit that Esau used to make him. Uh-huh. Right? He's flipping uh -huh. the suit back to Damn. his father in the conversion deal to seal the undermining of the birthright. Man, go ahead. So, hey, how did this, like, like if you, how did this, like, I, I, I see the overlay. Okay, so, was it a new, it would be, uh, would a new be, uh, I mean, to that back. So, what would Enlil be out of those three people? Who would Enlil be? Uh, is, he, is he just not even connected? I know he connected with it uh, based on the story. But like, who would he be? Like, who would Jacob be in that story? Would he be just Jacob, or would he be like uh, the children of Enlil? Those Enlil like children. Okay, Remember, right, go ahead, go ahead. I see what you're trying. Enlil's go children don't got no birthright to nothing on earth because they ain't from here. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. So this lady that had twins, apparently one of them wasn't. The, they wasn't from the same father because they was fundamentally different obviously at birth mm -hmm. which we know from science that a woman can give birth to twins from two separate fathers yeah yeah nowadays right. yeah we know that now yeah so it's already, just a minute ago too on the right so now Enlil's son and um uh isaac's son is obviously different in appearance and isaac before his sight go knows the difference yeah yeah. So he know that the first one out, Esau, was he as soon as he seen him. Yeah. What was the giveaway? The, the hairiness, I think. The red hairy was yeah, the, the red. Okay, yeah, okay, all right, go ahead, go ahead. That's why they emphasize his name to be Edom. Okay. Right? Edom, and that, that is also implying blood, Adama. Yeah, because red. Edom is the root word to Adam. Yeah, that's right. In Hebrew. Right? They just slightly spelt different in the Hebrew language. So he's given the blood right in a blood soup. Right? So he's using the red blood law. right. Go ahead. He's using the blood right ritual to steal the birthright from his brother Esau, the red man. Uh -huh. Now, the loop is because it's going to replay. It's going to replay into somebody figure it out to unravel. So the conquistadors get kicked out of Europe, set sail for the so-called New World to establish their empire. Once they claim the birthright of Esau, the red man. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit! Hold up. I got it, man. Look, I got what you're saying. Cause look, the Marco Polo went over to the Vietnamese. Look, Baba teach us that the Edomites is connected with the Vietnamese and the uh like the those people over there. And Marco Polo fucking sailed over there to steal the like steal some shit with dealing with uh man, you man, this shit is oh shit, son. Look, <laughs> he, he started he started a war between the Vietnam, the Vietnamese people, he started a war. Between two emperors, and they, they was over there to get something. So this, what you saying, is lines up, man. Oh shit! Just keep going, man. Oh, like, oh my head just came. My cap just exploded, man. Okay, now oh, here's the thing that we didn't catch. They put they repeating the story on our land. Okay, the Jacobins, right? The Jacobins are the black Jews. Uh huh. Black Dr. Ben wrote the book, We the Black Jews. Right? Damn. Or the Black Jacobins is what it was originally titled. 
meaning the underminers off the Red Lodge is coming for the birthright. Man, this, this, this man, it's a man. This, I was reading that fuck uh, in that North Carolina thing book, right? When I was mm-hmm. reading it, the people, the people names that were selling, that were stealing the land and selling it off, they had Jewish names. And the dude said, the dude said, man, th- these right here people were really, uh, you know, they really was black, but they had Jewish names. So now this shit is all coming to fruition on who stole our shit, man. Hey, shout out to brother Rob Hayes, man. We, we, we really cracked. We really connecting this shit. That's why some just told me the name is Connect Four. And you connecting the four, brother. You connect this shit. Go ahead. Keep going. My bad. Okay, so on. now the first thing they did when they got here is they gave us a Bible, right? Yeah. That's the contract. You're right. Go ahead. That's the con- That's the contract. We don't know how to read the fucking contract because they told us it was a religion. So we had, so so we had now, to accept that. We had to accept that shit, right? Right, because we're looking at it at the wrong angle. Go ahead. It's been it's been our spirituality weaponized against us. This shit is this over two hook. This is over my head, man. This shit is crazy. <laughs> okay, so now when they come but over as, here, as you talking, as you talking. It's like I already like it's like I, I had all like different little pieces, and now it's like it's all coming together now. Of what right. really went down? Yeah, go that's, ahead. Go ahead. That's what we trying to do: draw this shit all together, man. Connect so we forward, can see brother. what's so we can see what's going on, man. So I see it clear they now. gonna play the contract out in real life in your face, but you're not gonna never see it. Because it's 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 the actual pushing of the players on the earth using the book as the rule book. So in this contract, the Bible, right? So was it a thing to get us under this type of agreement that we won't wait on some some white dude? So uh you know, so uh was the so she ran or uh Zeus or whoever uh, you know uh, the, the white god, we're gonna wait on this white god to come back and save us. Is that part Don't of like Surfing back uh-huh. on the cloud, followed with the field harmonic orchestra on another cloud. Yeah. Okay, now this is called the sensationalization of a story. Mm-hmm. Everything that they saying, they sensationalize in something that they don't want you to pay attention to. Don't look over here behind the curtain. Uh-huh. 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 Right? Uh-huh. Look at me over here doing the goofy move. And don't look behind that curtain. Uh-huh. Focus on what I'm doing. It's a sleight of hand trick. Uh-huh. Right? Because as soon as they got us to pray with them, they was uh, making the agreement to tie us to the contract of the Bible. Uh-huh. Using Levi, the tribe of Levi, to enforce it using a system of levies and liens. Okay, go ahead. I'm, 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 man, it's like this is all coming together in my head, man. Because I'm glad I, I'm glad right. I got a certain level of information. Because for people that ain't got a certain level, they can't. They think you talking crazy, but I'm like, I, I can see everything you saying and how and you just making it put it like you like you the glue, man. You like you putting this shit together, man. Like ain't no mm-hmm. way that you tell that you ain't make that you can make this shit up. This shit can't be made up. This this like this. This ain't made up. And if it was made up, so what? Everybody, every day, just about is made up. But this shit can't be just this by design, plan, a way you putting this shit together, man. This ain't this ain't just no somebody just saying talking shit. This shit is put together for real, bro. Like, keep on going, okay, man. Now, My bad. I just had to say this. Now, traditionally, we are a oral traditional people. Mm-hmm. The law of the land made our verbal contract equally as binding as the written contract, Mm -hmm. right? A handshake was all we needed to seal the deal, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And in some cultures, you exchange blankets. In other cultures, you exchange a spear for a a battle axe. Uh Uh-huh. Right? When they might have changed a wife, a wife, right? A wife. Yep. 
Okay. Sometimes you would change trade daughters to marry okay. to the prince. Yeah. So y'all can have a family connection. Yeah. Yeah. And this is called tying into the vine. Right. So uh -huh. now you're trying to tie into the bloodline of the main royal family and you using deception to do it. Man. So Elijah Muhammad said the last trick of the devil was to do what? Free to give his, his woman. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So they go, they gonna try to slide a female up under you at the end to lead you off your path on purpose. Uh -huh. And that's how they did. Uh, if you want, if you want to believe the Muhammad story, that's what Abu Bakr did to Muhammad. He he gave her uh, Muhammad his daughter, right, at an early yeah. age. Yeah. Now you got different tribes that believe different shit. Yeah. Right, and the chiefs honor the traditional exchange of the other chief. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So whatever the agreement was, he gave Maisha as, as the um, the wife or concubine to seal that deal. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Right. It's a it's a pedophile blood right ritual he got tricked into. That's right in the Talmud, and it's a Babylonian money magic ritual. Going back to the same shit with this statue right here. <laughs> so now they now they using the pet they using pedophilia against a man who wasn't a pedophile in order to deceive him into following the order of sin by default out of ignorance. Remember, yeah. ignorance is no excuse to the law. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right? So now, Muhammad then upset the balance without even knowing what he did because he was deceived by somebody that he looked at as an equal in Abu Bakr. Yeah. Abu Bakr's intent was to always overthrow Muhammad. Yeah. The How whole time playing that? chess on him. Right. How do we know that was his intent? What was the first thing he did when Muhammad um, they, died? Yeah, to insert itself right at the right on the day of his funeral. On the next day, 24 yeah. hours later, he went to seize power. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. Uh so it all ties back into how they was doing us over here, using all of those events as the template to overlay us and play it out on us without yeah. us knowing it. Hey, so let me ask you this. So back to what you were saying, because um, I, cause I, we, 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 we drawing up on this joint, man. That So when, it, when those Jews, those black Jews came over here, they intentions because they don't have a home. They the Jacobites, right? They don't have a home, and so they whole intention was to come because they already sacked the people over there, uh, in Rome and all that, and in Spain. So they next was coming to take. Why would they come over? Want to come over here and take our shit? You know what I'm saying? Now watch how the story play out. Okay, right? They want us to claim that we the tribes of Israel. Uh -huh. Am I right? Yeah. And we was never called nothing related to that before 1492. Yeah. So they want us to follow them by saying we them. Uh -huh. Tribes of Israel, right? Yeah, yeah. Once we do that, then they're going to say we are the organic people to the earth right here. Oh, shit. Um, we... They don't even have to say that at their point. They can declare victory by means of deception and military uh, and military negotiations. Because yeah. under the Anunnaki Code of War, all forms of deception is a viable form to the art of war in order to avoid the physical conflict. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The deception is the judicial system. The tribe of Judah is the ones who's over the judicial system. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. And now each one of the tribes of the so-called children of Israel has to also have a family bank. 
Okay, that's right. Now, go to your computer and pull this up. Go ahead. Map of Central Banks of America. The Federal Reserve. Yep. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. Not Central America. Uh, pretty much the map of the, I, I can take my Federal Reserve. All right. Oh, shit, son. Like, the very first is, one. I, the very first one clicked out. Right here. Yeah. This is how they claimed our territory economically. Each one of the families set up a bank, and the first bank was set up in the crash zone in the 10 square miles called Washington, D.C. Damn, bro. This shit is now, hey, you making so many connections for me, man. I mean, like, it's a lot of shit that I wrote in that hustle manual. And uh, now I'm starting to realize. And then they got us thinking that these are the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, man. They answer to the black fucking Jews as, that you never did know. You never, they said that we will never really find out who these people are, the pe real people. So they're telling us about the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, but they ain't telling us about the black, real black Jews, the underground motherfuckers that control, that's really who these people answer to. Oh, shit. They keep, <clears throat> oh, go ahead, man. God damn, man. This shit is. Okay, now when they, when they came over here, they came over here in the shipwreck, 10 uh -huh. square mile crash site, set up the first bank. They mapped out the territory, laid down uh -huh. a family's claim to each one of the portions so that at the close of the age, they can say they us, organic to the land, and that because we can't be competent in law to manage our own affairs. So this is how they claim in our shit. This shit is fucking heavy. All right, now. So each family, the 12 tribes, really, that's on the ground, which you really don't, they're not us. They the they Inky's uh, people, I mean, Inley's people, they, they, they own, each 12 got a percentage. Because that's why it's 12 different banks. 13 when you count D.C., yeah, 13 with DC, right? Right, because so, it's 13. It's 13 tribes that has to have their own territory. Yeah, yeah. 12 and a woman, right? What uh it was 12 men and, and uh one one girl, he had a little girl, yep. Right. Di Diana, I think was her name. Yeah. Right. And, and now that's this the girl, that's the one that they uh supposedly in the Bible that she got raped. And uh, the brothers went to, uh, I think his older three brothers went to go sla uh, slaughter, they went to slaughter them people because of, uh, why did they got them circumcised and converted right. them to their religion? Yeah. God damn, man. This shit, I never could, I would have never connected the 12 banks with the, I mean, I knew that I, I connected it, but I okay, didn't. Okay, now, I got yeah, to tie it all together. I got to tie it all together now. We got to, we go got to ring, ring it down. Now, go these ahead. banks all feed into the Bank of Switzerland. Pull it up. Okay. Pull up the symbol for the Bank of Switzerland. The symbol for the Bank of Switzerland. Yeah. If you just put Bank of Switzerland, it should pop up. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's the same as that Red Cross thing? Same thing. Red Cross is the inverse. Yeah, right here, right? Mm-hmm. Bad. It's the yeah. same as the national flag. Of uh, Swiss, yeah, okay. Okay, now, remember we started off with the question, what, uh, when was the last time Switzerland was at a war? We tracked these... Uh, 1798, French. We, we tracked these Etruscan Moors all the way over here to set up the banks so that they can seize the land from us, these damn black devils. Damn. We did already established that they use pale faces to block institutions. 
So we overran uh, institutions with friendly pale faces in order to get the secrets out. Damn, man, this shit is like everything you saying starting to make it like it make it, it's, it's it's this shit is very intertwined and like I say, they they got us looking at the Rothschilds. Oh, the Rothschilds, the, the Kennedys, and nigga, they ain't them niggas don't even got nothing. It's the real they, they like to cup the front man for these people. For each, right. each man, it's, it's like each they man, each family story. got a front man. Like the right. Kennedy the may be the front story. man for another black black Jew tribe. The uh the Rothschilds is the front man for one of the other black black families. That's that's hide on the ground that we never even never even know their real names. Yep. So now watch this. We 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 fa- now let's go to we track in the money. And we trying to find out where these motherfuckers at that's behind all the dirt. Yeah. Okay, now, I done told you who they was. Uh-huh. I done showed you they movements. Uh-huh. Now, the only thing now is all of this war, these three world wars and all this shit that's been going on, they got yeah. to be, from that point on, they would have to be hands off clean. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. So go to the main Google page and put in uh, why is Switzerland neutral? Ah. <laughs> okay, let me go right here. I got the ass now, boy. Oh, shit. It's like, man, this is a lot. This is a lot. I'm glad we're recording this. Why is Switzerland Oh, shit. Uh, why is Switzerland neutral? Switzerland neutral is one of the main principles of Switzerland foreign policy, which di- dictates the Switzerland is not to be involved in army or politic conflicts between other states. This, poli- this policy is self-imposed and designed to ensure external security and promote peace. Damn. So they try to make sure they don't get the money, don't get fucked with. Man, this shit is because it's a lot of shit going through my head now. Just thinking about the Harry Potter underground bank. That was in Switzerland. Now remember, they gotta put it all out of the public domain so you can discover it. Yeah. Okay, remember, so what's the deal on that? Why one of, okay, one, go ahead, go ahead. one of the Rothschilds had to speak out and say that they financed both sides of the wars. Yeah. Nathan. Right. So it's not a secret. That the whoever it is behind it all is financing all of the war and confusion on earth, they paying for it because it's all organized. So I got that part. I got that part. Right. So now when you look at who's pulling the strings out of the politicians over here, the um Jewish Anti-Defamation League and the um JDL. They the ones controlling all of our politicians because that's their stage show of the political arena. Damn, bro. That's the that's the story they want the public to follow so that they be can be, can remain anonymous. They had they was they were they were these suckers. Where are these suckers? These black. Uh, Jew, rich, rich ass Jew, black, rich Jew. What the hell they hiding that now? Look, they probably, they probably have been arrested now because they got to leave here. Like galactically, they've been arrested galactically. Galactically, they got to go. The the Enlil's children lost the war. They normally honor the galactic rules. Once they lose, they normally follow through and pack up their bags and leave. Remember. They say in the book separating the wheat from the chafe, but they talking about people. 
Hey, so if they ain't on the, the uh going to malls in the moon, they really the motherfuckers behind all that shit trying to get the hell out of here because they can't that stuff they really always know. been there. They but while we was going through the conjure war, they wanted it concealed and they had what you call upper position or prime position on the game as the attackers they set the rules. Damn. This shit's just too much for one man, too much to one man take in at one time. I mean, but everything you saying is coming, is coming to me, man. When you talk and you saying this stuff, and then it's, it's like when I, I looking from your perspective, I I now gained a whole nother view. Like my view is now bigger on what this shit is about and hey, how look, it's this going down. Big, once you done seen this shit, you can't unsee it. Yeah, I got a whole. It, 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 like it ain't no way. It's like with, with this right here, I can even take it farther. I'm gonna be able to go and really break it down to to you know really you broke it down really simple for anybody to be able to get it. But a lot of people say that oh well, man, I don't think I don't know what the hell you talking about because they don't got a lot. In order to come to your level, you can't just come and be a fresh nigga off of Christianity out the streets. And just come and listen to you and say, man, you know, they say you're going crazy, but but so, so somebody that that uh, that was under the tutelage of the master teacher, and I study under other masters like Doctor Phil, all the masters, right? I listen to everybody, and I got I, I got enough information to be able to take in what you got, and and, and really grasp it. I grasp everything you're saying. It makes so much total sense now. It make a whole. It makes so much damn sense that I'm about to say be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Say, say, damn, the whole time I knew this shit. It's like I knew this shit, but it's like now it's being made clear, man, that these, the real people, they also always say, the real Jews, you ain't gonna know their name. The people that you, the people that you talking about, the 12 family, 13 family, they just front man. I heard, a nigga, I heard somebody say that, they just front man. And so you gotta now, also I'll, remember this too. Go ahead. When, when a lot of times when we be telling the uh, pale skins that uh, they had us in slavery. They like, why y'all mad at us? It was your own people that did it to you. Yeah, they do. Hey, a, a white dude told me that. I got a long time ago. A white dude told me that. He said, man, you, why you, uh, he said, it was your own people. He said, why are you mad at me? And I, I said, man, I, I, I didn't like what he said, you know? Because I, nah, I didn't have enough When you listen to that statement, you got to remember something. Uh-huh. To them, we all look alike. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Black devils. Black goddamn devils. And you know, so the so then the Bible where in Revel and in the Angel where it says in Revelations 2 and chapter 9, I know them which say they are Jews and are not. So but out of synagogue of Satan. Satan. So the, those black devils are really they were the sons of Enlin who were really had to he really he was the real devil, and the, he, he blamed another devil for telling teaching us. Teaching the people about what he knew in the in the beginning of the Bible. He said, Who told you this? And they said, Why would he do that? And then he got mad, you know, and, and cursed the devil and he cursed the, uh, Adam and Eve, kicked him out of the garden, right? So uh, he was the one that got mad. And then he chose, now, now he chose these same, people. That Go same ahead. story is in the uh, Anunnaki tablets. Yeah, yeah. And it's told slightly different than how it's told in there. And that's what we gonna what we need to go back for that story, but I don't want to go through it now. Nah, that's that's enough. Yeah, hey, we gotta do that in another class. But man, I think I ain't got my brain wrecked. So I, I I gotta sit down and just sit down and try to. And I, I bet the people on here too, man. Hey, man, like I say, I, I put uh, we we don't do this for money, man. But uh, man, show the brother Rob Haynes some love, man. Hit that cash out for him, man. This right here is a lot. I mean, I. I know some of y'all, a lot of that shit, especially that Noble Jew Ali shit, that was a Jew, bro. It's so many Jews on this tape. It's so many Jews on this tape, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he dropped so many Jews. So, man, that nigga just gave us a whole goddamn ship full of Jews. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, man. And, you know, I'm the young girl, man. You know, I'm a research junkie, man. I do, a, I study everybody. I watch everybody. And he told me some shit that I ain't never heard nobody say on this tape, man. I, I, like, so I'm gonna put his cash app in the link, man. Like I say, we don't, he don't do it for no money, man, because he is doing this for love. This this is his job, man, to reveal this uh 
reveal this information, man. Like it's a lot of secrets that are being kept from us. And now I bet you, man, after this tape, you could watch it, you could watch this tape a hundred times. Uh, you're gonna really get that, you're gonna really get the information. Uh, this right here shit is his head cracking, man. I mean, I can't, I, I'm almost can't take no more, man. Cause because it's all being made clear, like the shit that it, it was destiny for me to meet up with the brother Rob Haynes. And because I can ask certain, it's a lot of people that you've been on a show with, they don't have a certain amount of knowledge that we got, like that, that, that I got. And so I can ask certain questions to, to, to cover the, the cause, cause I know what you're saying, but it's a lot of people that you've been on the show with, they don't have a certain level of information to be able to question you and ask you to, to lead you. Cause I, I know all the information is in your head. So they gotta be able to ask a certain question for, the, for you to start with, uh, you know, spitting that information out. And so yeah. that's why that's why it was good for me and you to cook, hook up. Cause I can, I know I, I know exactly everything you're saying. It ain't no, there ain't no food gaze and shit. It's, you you telling a high level, you looking at this shit from a bird's eye view. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you look at this shit from a bird's eye view, and you you giving an eagle point of view on looking down and saying, "Look at them niggas right there. Look at them niggas. Oh, there, there they go. Today you can't you can't run, and these niggas hide behind these niggas. And you just show me when you show me that that noble Drew Ali picture. This I mean this picture right here. Uh, these people right here. Go back. Go back to them people, man. We got their ass. We got them. This is what they look like, y'all. The real, the real people, the real uh people who 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 they these right here, the real guys and the uh, guys that they tell you about is the goddamn the white boys is front man. They the ones that they put in charge of this shit. Man, this shit is crazy. These are front. These are the, uh, here. They go right here. They load their ass up. Let's get them. Let's get them on front front of the front page news. Goddamn it, news you can use. Hey, these are the real guys. That's behind these guys. They hide, man. What these suckers hiding it, man? They underground. What they hiding it, man? They hiding in Switzerland, man. This is a, this shit is this is bad. They the real Zion. These are the real Zionist Jews right here. Zionists, and it's a different between it's a different between Zionists and Jews. Like, cause Zionists don't believe the same thing as the as the uh, the. Uh, like the right, because the Zionists is following all the Babylonian blood money magic from all the way from Baal, all the way down from Baal. Uh, Straight right back, it's traced right back to uh, Babel and um, and the guy sin. Man, no, 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 sin. This shit, so black devils, not no damn white folks, just been puppets the whole time, which is why they were pissed off. They been yep. puppets the whole time, man. I mean, and, and we don't know we don't call them white. That's a status. We know that. I know that part, y'all. That's a status because they because in the book that I was reading, they talk about how they label niggas as classified as Negro, blacks, and colors. But man, to find out this is the truth, man. This is this is this is ordained. This is uh, this was supposed to happen. Like this this level of information was supposed to come out today, right now. It's supposed it was supposed to. And everybody think now that we can put pictures behind the shit, it actually helps it out more for people to say, man, dude, this is Rob Haynes talking crazy. No, nah, nigga, Rob Haynes is ahead of the game, nigga. You, like he all like he signed by Big Mama and the the, the 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 forces of the universe to wake your ass up so you can smell the Folgers. You can smell the it, man. I smell Folgers in the background. Like I was already woke, but now I'm just nigga. I'm fucking. I'm like I'm on five hour energy shot now. God damn it, I'm on a five hour energy shot. You know, I'm on a five hours of goddamn energy shot, man. Man, this way this shit is a whole other level. Go ahead. That, that's Moji shit, original grid. Man, original See, we can grid. Read, we can read the land to tell the story. We don't need no books. That's right. We get man. the we get the books so we can give y'all the reference. You man, you looking at this shit from a, another level, man. And like I say, to me. To me, uh, nobody's right and nobody's wrong. I mean, nobody's wrong. To me, everybody got their perspective. Like it's like we sitting in a room. We got a cup in the middle of, the, uh, and this circumology that the fifteen L teach. We sit it in the middle of the cup, right? Sit the, the cup in the middle of the room, and we all looking at that cup from an angle. And I'm gonna tell you what I see on this side. You telling me what you see on this side. He telling him what he see. This Dave Callaway got his own perspective, and then somebody looking at it down from the top. So we got a whole three D, four D perspective of that whole damn cup, and so that's what's happening now. That that it's being made clear that 
the perspectives are coming together to be make one perspective. And I, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it, man. I'm gonna take everything you told me and I'm gonna put it add it into my because I'm gonna sponge. I'm soaking this game up. These are all straight. I'm, I'm soaking this shit up like a sponge. And I got notes right here. I'm gonna go back and watch this video myself ten times. You know what I'm saying? You know it just so. So at, at, at the end of the day, it takes us back to that question: How come every time it was a slave revolt, a nigga told on them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How come? Because one of them niggas amongst them was a black. One of these niggas that infiltrated yep. us, that looked like yep. us. But they ain't us. The, the, the people who sell us, like the people who turn like Jacob, Jacob York. He probably was really because he really wasn't Baba or make biological son. He might have been in one of these niggas. It's possible. Yeah, he might have been in one be of these why, niggas. That, that could be why his name was Jacob. Exactly. Oh shit, son. This shit is fucking y'all cool ass nigga, man. This shit is crazy. This shit is like, man, I can't take no more, Rob. I'm sorry, man. I can't take no more. Uh, we had to come back another day, man. My fuck, I gotta sit down and digest this shit. Yeah, this is hey, look, that's 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 a nice little old class. We've been on here down there four hours. Yeah, man, you didn't fucking you didn't crack heads, bro. I'm telling you, man, this is a not this is a classic tape right here. This tape gonna get man a hundred thousand. This, this is gonna get a hundred thousand plays. Easy. Man, hit that man. Look, that's like I say, man, the brother, uh the brother Rob, man, hangs on live with us, man. Hit that cash out button, man. I got his cash out in the link, man. We don't, he don't do it for no money, but I just want y'all to show him some love, man, because, you know, you know help, the, uh, help the brother out, man. Send him some love, man, if you want to send him some love, man. Man, this is just, I, I, I know people in there saying, hey, people saying the same damn thing, man, in the chat, man. They're saying, okay, man, my brain is just, man, they said that about the last tape. They said that about the last tape, man. The brother, I said the band, the brother, and the last tape was light compared to this shit. This shit right here is just astronomical right here. This shit, the last tape was live. Hey, I'm, I'm putting it in there now, man. Hit my brother up, man. Hey, we, we live, man. Man, I'm about to get ready to get out, bro, man. I can't take no more. Yeah, we got to wrap it up now. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm look, hey, you... hey. We gonna we, hey, we gonna come back another day though. Uh, uh, let's give me time to digest this shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna go do more study because I because what I, what I I know uh, man they they telling me now there's a lot of information in your head and, and in order to get it out I gotta have the right questions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna based on this shit I'm gonna go and write some old questions down so we can really connect more dots. And yeah. so when I come back on next time I'm gonna have way more better questions because this shit is just it, it's just man. Oh, we know we just freestyling right now. Yeah, you free out the dome. So I know if I got the questions to be able to lead, to, to ask these certain questions, it'll be able to get more information out, out, to, out to the people, man. Because I know the people, man, they like, oh, shit, man. Yeah, wrong hands. This is one thing. This is one thing. This one thing. One way you know that this that I don't be bullshitting in what I'm saying is because this shit coming off the dome. I'm spitting the references and everything, and I ain't reading from no fucking script. Man, you make you you're a natural man. You what you call you, you produce you are anomaly. Uh, like in, in the matrix, they say uh, the certain people are anomaly. You are anomaly yeah. in the system. The system produced people like you in order to bring back that that reality, that original state of who we was. Like Baba, Marcus Garvey, no, all these guys, uh, uh, you in that same line of being re, of the anomaly. Because the system is unbalanced, it's unbalanced look, in the world. I, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to look at it as I'm not extra special. I just studied a little harder than the next person, and mm -hmm. I ain't no better than nobody else. They could all yeah, do you what could, I yeah. did. Yeah, everybody, like all of us, say that. All of us say that. Uh, uh, to say that we we just a regular, you know, regular old guy, right? I'm, I say I'm a regular guy. Like I teach galactic shit, so. I'm a, I'm a baby in this type of like I, I I got a lot of information, but I'm a baby as far as like the more science, the make I just started studying the native with uh, when you know Baba was uh, getting on it too. So, uh, but you got another level to this shit that you you, you another piece to the puzzle that that that, that, that the all the big mama, big mama, mother nature, big mama sent us this part. They see, they sent you this part to to fill in the blanks. You just fill in the blanks. I'm telling you. I'm Look, telling the clean, you. The, 
the cleanup, the cleanup man. man. Yeah, you just put it. You just man, You just filled in a lot of fucking blanks, man. I'm telling you, man. You just filled in ten thousand blanks that people had. Oh, what about this? How did that connect, man? It is like, man. You know, I got to get off, man. I got to go. Yeah. Give me some. Give me. I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna, I got. I got to tell. Uh, I got to leave a message on here for fair okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And, and the questions I got for the minutes is, how do you like Johnny Come Lately now? He <laughs> called me Johnny Come Lately because I came at the last minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they go, hey. Hey, he will figure it out that, that, that mm -hmm. hey, hey, you, you like the buzzer beater. You know what I'm saying? You the buzzer beater. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, right, I right for the, <laughs> huh? I told him, I told him, it's like my mama used to tell me when I was a baby about God. She said, you might not come when you want him, but he always on time. Yeah, you're right. Hey, man, you a right. buzzer beater. You shot that shit right, you shooting that shit right for the buzzer hit, right? Swish. Hey, then you hitting him with the Michael Jordan fade. You hitting him with the Michael Jordan, is that shit unstoppable? You know what I'm saying? That Michael Jordan Chicago, fade at the buzzer. Uh -huh. Chicago, Chicago Bulls 23 off of a uh, L.A. Lakers thirty-two to a Lansing, Michigan flip. Man, I'm telling you, hey, you got to. That's the, that's that. that's straight from El Haj Malik El Shabazz, the Red man. King out of out of Lansing. Man, I can't wait till we come back again because I'm gonna have some questions. I'm gonna have some shit, man. They gonna really open open your brain because your brain, man. I, I don't see why your head ain't the size of uh one of them denials, man. You got all this shit in your head. I don't see how you. <laughs> Sometimes, like, they, call, big, yeah, sometimes uh -huh. they call me little big head. Yeah, hey, look, my head, they say my head big, but she, you know, now my head just to grow. My, this cap tight on this cap what was loose when I first first started this, like when we first came on the show, like uh to this when we started this show earlier, my, my cap was loose. Now my cap tight. Yeah, damn it. My head, my brain it grew another goddamn on me couple centimeters, man. My brain just grew another couple centimeters. And I put this shit together. So let me get off, man. And uh, hey, man, we thank you, brother Rob Haynes, for coming on. We're going to be on again, man. This ain't the last. We're going to hear from the brother, man, because it's so more. It's more tag to team these motherfuckers till they buckle. Man, it's, it's, more, it's more to do, bro, in this game. Uh, so let me. Uh, hey, why do everybody. Uh, uh, Islam, peace, uh, you know. Love divide the violence universe to all, 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 all. Asalaamu Alaikum, whatever you like. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Whatever you like. We out. And we'll be back at you again. Hey, thank the brother Rob Haynes again. And we're gonna, man, we're gonna leave the uh we're gonna, I'm gonna put his um I'm gonna put his IG in the uh the comments. So because all the people asking me what's the IG, I'm gonna put the IG in the comments. So when, once we close the video out, you're gonna see his IG, his cash out. All that in the uh the comments, man. So if you want to show some love or check out his follow him on Instagram, we're gonna have that on there too, man. Cause we promote this shit for, for real, bro. So uh Wadu to everybody. Hey Wadu, brother Rob, thank you, man. Wadu. All right, yes, let's sir. Hold this up. All right. All right.